we're ready. Welcome everybody. We are starting into our sugar bowl sweet challenge. I am Jay Hart Ellis and today I will be going around touring new sugar bowl sweets. Cute little in rooms, in rimmen, in elsewhere. We are going to see what people have been able to do with them on PCNA and PCEU and so the criteria here was to be the most creative, the most fun, or have the best use of space. This is a very small area. How do you make good use of this? So we're going to go and get some decoration inspiration and top three winners in each of those categories. We'll get some good prizes. We'll have, we'll have prizes for the Twitch chat and we'll just have a good time here and it'll be good. It'll be fun. Okay, so, <laughs> Ruin D. Woot. Sugar Bowl Mania. Sugar Bowl Mania. Sugar Bowl Palooza. Ruin D. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to start here with Dubats. This is an empty one. This is an empty one. This is mine. <laughs> Didn't have time to decorate it myself. I'm going to get some decoration inspiration from everybody else, and I'm going to make mine look amazing. That's how it works, right? That's how it works. <laughs> okay, so Sugar Bowl Sweet from Dubat up first so we have we have 41 entries we have 36 entries from PCNA and then we have thank you thank you thank you five. sugar bowl woohoo <laughs> and Lisa Tara with the resub thank you so much thank you so much oh wait guest draw guest draw is this working I hope this is working okay it's been recorded fantastic yeah, this is this is a cool feature from Essential Housing Tools. Great add-on from Cardinal05. It does a lot, including this guest journal, so you can see who comes by. So Duba has opened this up. Oh, okay, so we have the Sugar Bowl Suite. Now This is fun. Now I'm e immediately attracted to the Rathana de Renata mural wall here that you can unlock from Riverhold. There's the, the museum quest line there. It actually takes quite a while, and you have to go get all 16 of these pieces put back together, and it unlocks this. If you see this light effect, that is from that. If you hear the oh, Kajidi chanting music, that is the wall doing that. And so, uh, hey, even that fits into here, making good use of the space, right? And so, aside from that, kind of fitting with the elsewhere theme, we do kind of like Kajiti type of furnishings and we do have a little baby raz here so this is really cool so so Dubat really went all in on the new elsewhere furnishings which is one of the big reasons that we're even doing this this challenge today is so that you wait did I pick up on NPC chat I didn't see that there was NPC chat oh <laughs> I see it now I missed it <laughs> baby raz says did you bring this one's dad I should have Khajiitified that. That's okay. Don't want to be too... <laughs> Don't want to insult the Khajiit. Okay, that's fun. Maybe as... Oh, oh fun, fun quest line. Regarding that, you'll learn a little bit about Razumdar as, as you go through the elsewhere side quests. They're, they're kind of fun. <laughs> okay, so really going all out with the elsewhere furnishings. We have new elsewhere tapestries. Beds, armchairs, desks, noodle bowls. We also see the Behold the Lunar Champion tablet. This is a tablet that you can earn from the main quest line. So as we kind of discover new elsewhere furnishings, I'll kind of be pointing them out here because this is really my first exposure to a lot of these new furnishings as well. So getting some decoration inspiration as far as, hey, what's new here? What can you do too? We do have, yeah, so, so the, the main quest line will give you two of these gallery tablets and if you place them in your hall of the lunar champion you can you can make the lights pop up in that house and note the big notable house you unlock from doing the elsewhere quest line and you unlock the first wing of that so okay so this is this is really nice here just just from a good use of space using big furnishings using the new elsewhere colorful really colorful here and sticking with a good theme as far as kind of kajitifying this place up and good colors here too. So a couple older like Kajiti bases and everything fit really nicely. So that's oh, really fun. Okay, so 
I'm a little, for, for the most part, I won't spend this much time on each house, but... Oh yeah, even even this new cactus, the succulent from the home goods furnisher. That's only a hundred gold for that little succulent. Can you believe that? Yeah, go to the home goods furniture in Rimen. Tons, tons of great plants there. And new wine racks, too. It's just one item. As far as making good use of space, something like this filled wine rack really is nice. Okay, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Stephanie says, send noodles. Yeah, I, I just want to dig into these. Don't... <laughs> okay, and as I do this, as I go through here, I think one thing I do want to do is try to get maybe one screenshot in each of these just so I can kind of compare these I think the plan is I I will be announcing the winners during tom tomorrow's stream that will be I'll be touring some wood elf houses tomorrow we'll announce the winners for this at the beginning of that that'll be good Cardinal 05 I oh wish everyone to be full of bit also equals P <laughs> Cardinal <laughs> full of bits. Thank you, Cardinal. Wow, that get that's ten ten emotes that people get from the from the event going on. That's so cool. Thank you, Cardinal. Also equals P. Equals P to you too, Cardinal. Okay, Sugar Bowl Sweet from Dino. What they call they called this Dino Spa. Interested to see what they did with a spa. Oh no, is everybody gonna have the <laughs> the singing wall in their house? Oh, it's okay. I do like it. I think it's a cool furnishing. There, by the way, Cardinal05 did add a sphere of silence to essential housing tools. So if you want the lighting effect and the mural effect of those, but you, you maybe get tired of the music, you can put the sphere of silence over that with the essential housing tools. That's uh, kind of a funny thing, but I like it for now. I'm not sick of it yet. I'm just saying, at this rate. <laughs> oh, oh, we have the new mummy. Oh my gosh, I haven't even seen this yet. Oh, this is kind of creepy, isn't it? This is that mummified elfique pet that you can get from the uh, Rimen Necropolis, right? I believe that's right, Public Dungeon. I haven't, oh, it has like the mask on it. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, people showing off a lot of their new elsewhere furnishings. This map is from the Achievement Vendor. I think we'll see a lot of those sorts of furnishings as we go through here. Archaic Media, oh my gosh. Love you guys less than three. <laughs> I love you more than three archaic media. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. And welcome and to our Sugar Bowl Sweet Challenge tours. So, oh, amazing spa. Like, as far as making good use of space, like, I can imagine the water damage that this might cause, but <laughs> it's fun. Nanaterra. Thank you for all the fun tours and Oprah-like giveaways. Oh, I do like Moo. them. I do like them Oprah-like giveaways. We'll do some Oprah-like giveaways at the end of this as well. So, beautiful spa, like, with the wedding blossoms, looks really inviting, really fresh, and, you know, just come in and maybe have a sit here. Oh, oh, can't see. Okay, sit. Just come have a soak here in the water. Listen to the chant. Maybe, maybe try to get some rest in. Nice and relaxing spa here in an in room, so you can do really creative things. I think this is really creative, so that's fun and fun. So as, those were the contest criteria: creative or fun or great use of the space. So we'll see. As people are getting their their bonus bonus emotes, I want people to put them in the chat. <laughs> so show off, show off. Okay, we'll keep moving along here. Thank you, Dino. That was really fun. I like it. Yeah. Okay, going to Alexei's next. They call this the Feral Garden. Feral Garden. I wonder what that will look like. Making a garden in an in room in your little sugar bowl. Stephanie says, it's so creative, I wouldn't have thought to do anything other than a bedroom. Yeah, that's what you can do. So, so we started with a bedroom, right? Kind of playing it normal. Then we went to a spa, and now we're in a garden. Nice fresh garden. I have this, like a fountain spa effect going on with this too. That's cool. So yeah, we're really getting creative with this. And that's that imp, a, a, a dragon. It, it's basically their excuse for having dragons in here, calling it an imp anyway. <laughs> that's a cool, cool garden in an in room. So I hope if, if you see something that you like, you're like, wow, I wouldn't have thought to do that. Take You can like jot down a couple notes. You're like, oh, wow, I, I definitely like the 
use it as like Merkmeyer, Totem, or, or these mushrooms, or these vines. You can get these uh, really bright Sunfire vines from the Home Goods Furniture in Remen again. I think we'll see a lot of those because they really fit the theme. Or some of these others from like Elnor, Sunbird plants. Some of these glowing mushrooms from Nicholas Crown, or f from the Hunter's Glade. But yeah, they really brought a lot of nice plants into here. Feels nice and fresh. That what Alexei also did is changed. Yeah, I mean, doing all of this with thirty items too. Just remember, that's one of the huge constraints with this contest. Is it, it, with if you have ESO Plus, you can use thirty items here. Man, change. I can't space. think of anything clever to type out. <laughs> Archaic. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway. You're clever regardless. Don't let that get to you. Oh, I did not think spook a lot with a follow. Thank you. So beautiful garden, right? And yes, and using these rocks here too to change just a texture of this. So you can kind of see that these have been added. So just that covers up the wooden floor. So it kind of takes you out of this place. Oh, I, I don't even think, I think they changed the walls in here too. Now I'm not, oh, I'll have to pay attention when I go to the next one. I, I want to say, oh, I'll have to, oh, no, I, no, I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure that they added these elsewhere walls here, the curved walls to just to change the look of this. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to pay attention when I go to the next house. It's so natural looking. I can't even tell. Oh, a beige, she says, yes, the walls are changed. You're okay. Ruin saying the walls are changed. Too. Yeah, I didn't even like. Yeah, like, I was like, this doesn't look like the inn room at all, right? So, really transforming this place. Really creative. Oh, and that's a new... I want to say this is a termite mound from the Home Goods Furniture, too. Kind of like a big, big piece. Yeah, really cool. Okay, thank you. I have to keep these relatively short, each one. So, uh, I want to stay... In... It's so relaxing here with, with the water and, and the flowers and the lights. But, gotta... Gotta keep moving. Oh, okay, so going to Tamrix's next. So many sugar bowl sweets. So yeah, if you want, maybe figure out what you want to do with your own sugar bowl suite or with your own house. I mean, anything that we see here in, in these, these small in rooms or something that you could really incorporate into any of your houses, really, like, like that. That last one that we saw, you could have done that same effect. I mean, they basically made all the walls from scratch. <laughs> you could do that in any of your houses. And maybe working without just the 30 items, you could do a lot more too. I think I got the pick at the beginning. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Tamrix says, we have a nice bedroom here. We have a couple of little cats. Oh, we have a new spectral cat. And we have a Jester's Coffer. Is there gonna be something, a surprise, in the Jester's Coffer for me? No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Points out for fun. Oh no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm 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 really easy to amuse. So I I just like the gesture's cover as is. You know, it has a confetti and it, like makes fun sounds. That's okay. It's that trombone sounds. Yeah, I know. I know. But as this is like, oh, I wish I could. Wait, I can sit here. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Good, good view of this place. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, Archaic Media. <laughs> this one is very happy with these lovely rooms. Archaic. This one. This one is very happy that everybody is getting those emotes. Thank you, Archaic. That's so many bits, too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's, and 35 people just got the emotes in chat. That's cool. Oh, this is a fun event. Okay, so really cool could GT theme here, right? So we have bed we have the cats here i just assume everything's nelfic anymore i'm not going to make assumptions assume things are sentient assume they have feelings until you find out otherwise and and all of your past significant others have feelings just don't just don't dis discount that one <laughs> just saying maybe maybe your significant other was a house cat after all no sentient elfic i have to make i have to assume until proven otherwise or, or Levamp. 
Thank you for the follow. Thank, thank you, you for thank the you, follow. Thank you. And Dr. Jack Hyde with the six month resub. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, keep, keeping with the Kajiti theme. I really like that they kept with the theme here. We have the carpets and the crescent stools and the vases and everything. I can imagine a Kajit coming in here, having a nice sit by the fire, having their kebab, and having a rest. Probably seems like a good work, working class Kajit here, right? Tight quarters, a little bit of privacy, a couple companions here. That's nice. Now, okay. Good job from Tamrixa. Next up, we'll go to Pugsley's. Pugsley 20s. Sugar Bowl Sweet. <laughs> okay. Keep going along. So many good ways of doing up these Sugar Bowl Sweets. Oh, it's fun. Storm, could you... Yeah, we're close to unlocking another sub emote. Storm, maybe you could upload it to Discord and then link the picture here. Would that work? Or if you already have it some some way? That'd be cool. Yeah, we're kind of close to that. Griff says, oh, I just noticed Anonymous gave me a subscription two days ago. Thanks, Anonymous. Yes, a lot of people will have the sub emotes. Oh my gosh, Archaic thank you, Media. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, as if this space wasn't big enough as is. They added a second story to this. Before I do that, a big, big thanks to Archaic Media gifting subs to five people. To Zuo Liang. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sir and Wind. Realign, Chicory Coffee, and Tempest Mur just got gifted subs. Do use all the spicy mo emotes and mess with my lights if you thank you, so thank you, thank you. Have some fun with that. And thank you. That gets us really close. Wow, we'll be doing lots of good voice at the end of the stream. Okay, starting here. We have Pugsley's. Not to detract. Okay, we have Pugsley 20s, Sugar Bowl Sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. new, elsewhere, stoneware. Where does this rolling pin come from? This is new. I don't know. Is it crown only? Can you steal this? There are a lot thank of you, new you, stealable items. I'm not entirely sure where they all come from. I don't know. You can craft it? Wait, you can craft the rolling pin? I, didn't th I don't recall ever seeing it craftable, or I would have made them. You can steal it. Man, they would be so valuable. I, these these sorts of things are so they're so hard to pickpocket. The drop rates on the pickpocketing things from elsewhere are like super low. So I don't know if they pickpocket pickpocketed that, found it on a guild trader, or or bought from the crown store, or whatever they did. Like it's fun to see it. It's it's kinda like a really good staple thing for a kitchen, right? <laughs> people usually use like the ivory as a rolling pin. I this makes a little bit more sense does not imbue your dough with purity though realign with the follow thank you so much thank you so much i'm i may miss things from twitch chat just just saying if, if you need to catch my attention please tag me okay so pugsley pugsley making good use of the new furnishings and you know this in room is not very tall but they they managed to make a second story here Second story. No. Yeah, and even using this big one. There, there's these chests or these cupboards. There's like a small one that's like blue quality, or there's a purple one which is double wide. So if you want to make good use of your space, use a double wide one. You know, make better use of your thirty item limit that way too. Oh, interesting way of framing this chair with kind of the arch behind it. That's cool. I think that's like utilizing the natural architecture at the top of the in room. Really creative. And then we have oh bedroom up here. Oh, with the hairbrush and the comb. Those are also stealable. Like super, super rarely. Like I'm a question whether they are because I haven't seen any. <laughs> Cardinal says you took the suite to another level. Yes, adding a second story to this. And I believe they used some of these new, yes, these new structural pieces. So we have the elsewhere stairway here. That's a new craftable thing. And we have a platform here. There are some large platforms and there are some small ones. There are also these walls. I believe these are the new elsewhere walls. So really good structural pieces like walls and platforms and, and stairways that you can 
you can incorporate so you can like build whole structures now i wouldn't normally think you'd have space for like this this one stairway it takes up like 30 percent of the volume of this room <laughs> oh and cool new lights here too that's that's a new craftable elsewhere light so that's uh, I, I like that people kind of took this as a challenge like also like using new elsewhere stuff that's yeah, that's fun it's fun to see all these new I even like this quilted bed here this is just like a like a blue quality thing it's like super cheap to get these so i, I love the color on this nice purple kind of heritage quilt it's fun i love it okay i don't think i got a picture let me get i think this will probably be the best best angle it's kind of tight okay we'll keep going okay thank you pugsley okay next up maya sunrising yeah, that's a bad angle for the port. That's okay. Oh, can see a better now. <laughs> thank you, Simona, with the follow. Thank you, thank you. Touring more Sugar Bowl sweets, getting that decoration inspiration, and, you know, just figuring out what you can do with a small space or with new Elsewhere stuff. Curious what people are starting to do with their Hall of the Lunar Champion, too. We'll be doing a contest for that coming up i don't know how much time to give people to do the quest because you unlock it as you do the main quest line is it okay if we do it like in a week or two it's two probably before two weeks maybe like a week and a half yeah i think we'll do something like that <laughs> okay maya sunrising Oh, one, one thing is, like, there are going to be different item limits for these houses. So even in the in-room, you can put, is it one or two pets? It might be two pets. So that doesn't hit the 30 cap, though. It can make use of the different item caps. Two. You can put two pets in, a, in your in-room. People might have just done the 30 items. Wait, wait, wait. We do have the guest journal. I will sign this. See my beautiful name there. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Okay, <laughs> this is a small space. Okay, so this does have some visual effects. So if you wanted to make good use of the space, you can add these <laughs> bubbles. I don't know why they're bubbles. I, I'll just assume I, they're like frogs too. Oh, ah, that's cute. So Maya Sunrising did add visual effects here using essential housing tools. So you know, you can add these huge paintings in the background, kind of gives it a bit of a three-dimensional feel, kind of like you're in the middle of a garden here, or however you want to think about it. So it does, or, or if you just like the colors, think of it as a painting, do it that way. Making a good garden, good use of the color, bright purples here, and another one of these elsewhere beds. The funny thing is, I, I believe this is the, the rumpled double bed and this is like the purple quality one i kind of like i don't know about I, I this is like the orange colored quilt there's also the purple one that we saw in the other house i don't know i guess i kind of like the purple one better even though the quality level and it's lower that's okay because otherwise they're, they're like exactly the same except for the quilt color i don't know if you like purple or orange better i, I kind of like the purple better that's okay bargy de bear with a follow thank you so much Maybe this feels a bit more kajiti. <laughs> Zendaya says, I like all the beds. <laughs> Oculon says, I love the quilt. Yeah, I know. I, I do love the quilt. Maybe this looks a little more dusty. I think the purple one looks a bit more crisp. So visual effects in here. Let me get sit here. Maybe get a picture. Okay, and the uh, Rathana de Renata in the background there. Now, the interesting thing is I can see the lighting effect. Maybe they did use a sphere of silence on this so I couldn't hear it. I think they did, using the visual effects from Essential Housing Tools, because I can't hear it. So that's an interesting way of doing it. Yeah, the light effect coming from the window is really cool though. So yeah, if you want to get that lighting effect from, from that mural, you can do that. That's fun, that's fun. Okay, and moving along, so 
many houses to tour, so many sugar bowl suites. Sweet, sweet tours. Collector says, I love how that looks like. It's coming through the window. Yeah, it's a really cool effect. Uh-oh, ruin. It's not letting me pour. There it goes, there it goes. Sometimes it's on delay. Just like, sometimes it can take like 10 or 15 seconds before it actually ports you. Mathody says, it's too bad they didn't make that achievement while interactable. Maybe if if you um are concerned about that, maybe put a feedback. Maybe they'll make it toggleable in the future. A lot of people... They like the lighting effect from from the mural, right? Or they maybe just like the look of the the big wall, but it does have that music. It'd probably be nice if it were toggleable. So if you want to submit a feedback, I mean your feedback is important, right? So you can do that with in in game. <laughs> Ruen, all these guest journals. First guest is always the best guest. Oh, I am the best guest. Okay, so we have a little... Wait, wait, wait. We have... We have a mess. That's what we have here. We have the scent trot here. We have the little baby... Baby Raz. And we do, Okay, what's going on here? Scent trot as house guests. Dark moons! What was I thinking? <laughs> little baby Raz decided to bring in the scent trot as a house guest. Scent trot made a mess of this place. It turned over the bed, knocked over the lanterns. Ugh. Oh, they, they even these Hakashi lanterns have been pulled down from the from the ceiling there. Oh, just must have grabbed them playing around there. Oh, oh gosh, they're not going to get their deposit back. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, the, oh, oh, this is sad. This is sad. You can see the the new horn achievement furnishing, right? And it's been broken in half. So this is a really creative way of of placing this horn so it's in two pieces right it's like oh no <laughs> dark moons dark moons oh bad centra no they're they're mostly good they're mostly well behaved this one it's like 99 percent of centra give the rest a bad name right so this one this one definitely doing that <laughs> carnal can't we have nice things carnal equals p we can't we can't thank you thank you for your support <laughs> let's look, let's look, uh, try to figure out a good angle so I can catch all this. Maybe, I don't know, if I want the guest journal in the screenshot or not. I can't see the scroll there in the background. Okay, I think I'll, I think I'll turn it off for now. Oh, the, the painting's even askew over there. Lots of details going on here, right? Okay, good. Screenshot. And move on to the next house. Thank you, Ruen. That was fun. Okay. Kind of making a few notes as I go through here. Well, I'll be going through here. Oh, as I... Oh, thank you! <laughs> Cardinal. Wait, wait. Something happened. <laughs> Carnal re <laughs> just re <laughs> thank you thank wait that was no that was archaic media sorry my uh, stream labs didn't update uh archaic media thank you archaic media I'll give the credit to archaic media there oh wait that was like a lot of bits too oh my gosh so many so many colorful emotes in the twitch chat <laughs> archaic you have to you have to capitalize all the letters so it reads them off Thank you, thank you, thank you. Delbert Stinkfester with the sub. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Big, big hype there. Big hype there. Okay, get Elias. Get to Elias. Home up next. Ooh, Brazier. Ooh, wait, it's like all upside down. Oh, it's a crazy house. Am I the crazy one? Usually. It's a split level. It's... Okay, so it's it's right side up this way, but then you get up here, and it's it's all upside down. Oh, and then I fall through. Oh no, it's an uh, oh no, I'm caught in a mo a Mubia strip. I'm stuck, stuck in a Mubia strip. Mo. <laughs> this is this this is my life now. Just go around in a circle. Oh no. Okay, so I'm a little, a little concerned. I'm a little disoriented. 
Okay, so, oh gosh, how do I get a screenshot of this place? <laughs> try, try to, yeah, we have the, like, upside down fox there, and the brazier, and then up above. We have Azura. Is this Azura's doing? Wait, can I, like, sit in that chair? Can I, like, try to, I don't think I can, because it doesn't have collision under it. Can I get over here? Oh, I can kind of get over here. <laughs> Hello, banker. Oh, man. Is anybody gonna buy the, the old banker and merchant after the Alfik ones are out? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, can kind. Well, this will this will have to do. Okay, that was a fun, fun home though. Yeah, I I like how they use these really heavy items like the earthenware, the stoneware pot here, or this big heavy slab. Kind of like uh, you worry about gravity. As you're under here, right? Or is this fox gonna land on your face and start clawing at you? I don't know. You hope, you hope this situation stays relatively stable. So that's a fun, fun way of doing that. Okay, fun, fun home. Oh. Okay, we'll go to Charolais up next. <laughs> Uh, Mix says they could have gone with a skin change model. I thought they were going to do that at some point, but you know the Alfique ones, they're, they're going to be a lot of fun with the Banker and Merchant. Though, they know what they're doing. Then everybody's going to want those, I, I think. I think it's... I like the... I just hope that they're priced reasonably. <laughs> okay, Charolais place up next. Okay, beautiful new elsewhere furnishings. Like these little these little cactus flowers. You can get these from the home goods furniture. Super cheap, super cheap. Definitely check out the home goods furnishings in Rimen. Like these these sunfire vines as well. I think some of these new trees. I didn't actually take, pay close attention to all the new trees. There are like ten new types of trees that you can get there too. Oh. Oh, we have, oh, we have, I don't know if they like each other. Pup, pup is kind of like hanging out in the, in the hedge over here. Maybe shy. Might be an unrequited love type of a thing. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe, maybe it's just wolf instincts. It's just going to pounce at some point. I think it's a love thing. That's cute. <laughs> With the fuzzy, fuzzy cat, yes. <laughs> He's hiding. It might be hiding from the cat. It's scared of the cat. It could be that. <laughs> and beautiful bed. Or, or beautiful. Okay, beautiful bed. Beautiful bath. Using some of these new. Oh. Yeah, so so I've seen there I've seen these. There there are two new types of craftable elsewhere fabrics. There are also some lootable ones, but there are two of these that hang down. One of them is like five different ones in a row, and the other one is five of these in a like in a circle. And so this is kind of a clever way of doing this: is they, they took the one Charlie took the one in the circle, and and just kind of stuck it in the wall as if these are hanging here. So instead of having five, because five might be a few too many for for one bath area here, but three three seems a bit more reasonable for for like a small in room, right? So creative, kind of shrinking that down from five to three. I like it, I like it. And it still looks like it's hanging at the ready there after your bath. Lovely, lovely and new, beautiful wardrobe and you know, cupboards. And oh, I didn't even notice these because I fit in so well. Uh, these, these new drapes and, and curtains. These are the curtains that you can get from crafting. Super cheap to make. If you get the plan for it, just low blue quality one. Not gonna be very expensive on the guild traders. So, oh. Really, really nicely done. <laughs> try, try to get. Oh, oh, cat's going crazy. It's beautiful, lovely. Charlie with the, with the details. Okay, moving along, we'll go to Stabities. I'm getting a screenshot of each one as I go, so we can look back at them and make sure that we get some good winners for tomorrow. We'll be announcing the winners tomorrow here on the stream before we do our Wood Elf tours from the Divine Design Alliance Guild. That'll be good. <laughs> yeah, it has like a really good autumn feel to it, didn't it, with all those sunfires. Oh, uh, 
I, I didn't realize this before. The Upside Down Room that we saw a couple of before was kind of like Escher inspired. So that totally makes sense. Cardinal. No, you equals P. Oh, uh, wait, is that to me? Do I equals P or are you saying somebody in Twitch chat equals P? Because if you're saying somebody in t Twitch chat equals P and it's not me, I'm jealous. Cardinal, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Going into Stabity Dooms. Oh my gosh. Stabity. Being the literalist here, we have... Okay, this is fun. Okay. Wait, there are FX here? Stabity. If you're here, I don't see FX. The FX aren't showing. Oh no. I, I see, I see. I see the sugar, sugar bowl. Stabity. Toggle? What am I doing? Wait, do I have the toggle on? Oh, I didn't have the toggle on. Oh, did I did I miss effects from anybody else? Did Charlie have effects? Wait, 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 let me check, let me check. Wait, no, I had effects off because I turned it, oh no, I have to go back to Charlie's place. Okay, I have not seen anything. I have not seen anything from Stabby Doom. No spoilers. Okay, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I had turned it off. I had turned it. I toggled it off for the screenshot and forgot to put it back on. Oh no! Okay, I have to give Charlie justice. Now I really like Charlie's house without the effects. Okay, going back, going back. <laughs> Omg, Stormahawk can't take him anywhere, can ya? Equals P. No, no, I'm pretty. I'm. No, I'm pretty defenseless. Thank you, thank you, Cardinal. Have I got any of the emotes? I don't think I have yet. Wait, no, I did. I got, I got a couple of them. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, Charlie had more going on in this house than I thought. Okay, missed a couple effects. Now. Huh, that's like a really interesting... Thank you, thank you, thank you. ...like fog effect going on in the background. I'm not actually sure what they did with that. Happy with the 10-month resub. Wow, thank you so much, thank you so much. Big hype. Everyone says, what a difference. Oh yeah, I thought they had made really good use of space before, and then you add... The visual effects and kind of like this cool fog effect. Okay, now let me let me see if the screenshot will be good from here again. <laughs> we'll we'll try this again. I love blowing up that painting with that fog effect. It kind of kind of gives it a bit more. I don't know like washed out effect, kind of like it's like more natural sunlight in the in the distance, right? A little bit. Oh, and that makes this pup the puppy in the hedge a bit more realistic too, because before it's like you know, in the wall, and now it's kind of like it's outside a bit more, so I, d d yeah, they thought this through, but it looks good even without the effects. Okay, gonna get, okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> okay, Ruin, Ruin, I got your visual effects in, right? I saw yours with the visual effects. Okay, we'll keep moving along. Okay, moving along, moving along. Oh, Almost missed out on that. <laughs> okay, we're all good. For ruin. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> if I mess up, it's like tag me, tag me hard. <laughs> all caps, all caps. I don't want to miss. Yeah, just if if I mess up, if I mess up, get my attention, get my attention. That was my bad. Okay, Stabity's house up next with the visual effects. Now I just see this giant sugar bowl here, right? And then, oh, we have guest journal. Guest journal, ooh, sign the guest journal. I just have to double check to see my name. It's because I love it so much. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. I, I know Stabity Roy loves this Nord wall effect. I, I, I do too. <laughs> Jalax with a follow. Thank you, welcome to our Sugar Bowl Sweet Challenge Entry Tours. Okay, so it does make us feel a little bit bigger. We do have the visual effects there. Ruin D, oh my gosh. It's all good, Jay Hart. <laughs> Ruin D, thank you. Thank you. Wow, so many cheers for everybody. Oculon says that the visual effects there, the painting in the back background makes us look so much bigger. Yeah, that's that's the cool thing about this. <laughs> Even a little cake here. A lot. A lot, a little cake. And we have a full mug. Full mug with the visual effects. Oh... I like I like this like with the FX off just as much though. So okay, we'll get 
sugar bowl. Now I do see, I, I kind of see here. So we have like the, the skooma, you know, made of the sugar. We have some sort of sweet drink here, I assume. Maybe cane mead, maybe this is cane mead and then a cake all made with the sugar, right? Does that make sense? And then big spoon. Yeah, what did they? What did what did Stabity use for the spoon here? It looks like a clockwork, something or other. Bellow of some sort. Is it a bellow, Stabity? <laughs> I say, yep. I think it's a. Okay. <laughs> okay. Get a screenshot of the sugar bowl. Beautiful. I like how you took it literally. It makes it more fun. Okay, and moving along, we're one quarter of the way done. These will go relatively quickly. Okay, moving on to Tally's Dwarven Light Post and a Bellows. Okay, so it was two items, Dwarven Light Post and a Bellows. I it was a Bellows. I was like, I don't think Dwarven thing would have a weird random wooden bellow on the end of it. <laughs> Makes more sense. Good job, good job. All right, one quarter. One quarter of the way through. Those are fun. Oh no, that means we're eventually going to run out of these great houses. Oh, the, oh, those those colorful wings on the on the cow and everything. That's fun. Everybody's having fun with the new emotes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, moving on to Tally's. Oh, we have. I see. I see like the catwalks up above. So is this going to be like a G <laughs> dog prison oh that's mean oh no okay <laughs> we have okay wait 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 tally tally is gonna do me good tally is gonna do me good okay what's gonna be in the jester's copper i see i wait wait i see it poking out it probably didn't quite fit i see a yarn ball <laughs> oh i was supposed to open it from this way we have yarn ball oh we have a little bowl of moon sugar here right yeah they're they're, pitch, they're, they're doing bad things with that i assume what what cat is really proud of itself Little evil Elfique here. Dog prison. Elfique are smarter than that. They could spell it right. They're just having fun with it. Wow, I, I gotta say, you know, as far as using lettering in in the homes, I think Tally did a great job with the colors on this, kind of using this Nordic table and upturning it there and then kind of using this kind of creamy color that kind of matches kind of matches that. I don't comment on colors too much, but I really like the use of the color there. So, and it's cute and it's fun. <laughs> Tally says, thanks, thanks. I can tell I didn't just use the default, so, which is fine too. Okay, can I, wait, wait, it's like a challenge. It's like a challenge. Can I get up here? Is there gonna be things up here? Up, up, I, I have mad cat skills. I have, okay, I go, man, I feel bad. I felt, I fell so hard. Well, I can look around and see if there is anything up there. I don't think so. Okay, so it's just, did you make this? Oh, no, I fell off. Oh, oh, oh. Up here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, can I actually, I might be too tall. Might be too tall. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's possible. <laughs> Wrong animal. Cows cannot jump like cats. I, I, I'm noticing this. I am a, I am a nimble cow. Sometimes the horns get in the way a little bit. <laughs> okay, fun. Well, kind of cruel, but kind of fun. Mostly cruel. It's it's fun. Okay, I we even have a little Khajiit base been knocked over. I can just assume it was up here before. A bit it was batted off of up here. Love the cat tree. It's fun. <laughs> okay, get, get a screenshot of this and move along. Wait, 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 I need to open up. Wait, 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 I need to see the iron ball. Definitely. <laughs> Hide that for the next visitor. Okay, moving along. Thank you, Tally. Okay, Cry Half accept next. Truth Nerd says, I don't have the wings. Don't know how to do it. <laughs> Archaic Mia says, I want to see the rainbow wings on the Derpy Griffin. Oh yeah, True Snark has to get the... Has to get those wings. Get the rainbow wings. Okay, I'm moving on to Cry Havocs. Is that to check the name? They said they have a couple effects, so I'll have to make sure. I'll make sure. Oh, these have been these are these are fun. These are fun. 
<laughs> Dubat. I, I, I believe Dubat really likes them, Khajiit. Cry Havoc? What did you do with this place? It's like, oh no. Bella Stalina. Bella Stalina, thank you so much. Is it giving confirmations to people in the chat as they get the thing? I didn't actually see that I got confirmation when I got mine, but maybe I just didn't see it. It's snowing. Yeah, it is snowing. Well, it's... Is this moon sugar? It's... it's oh, I see. It's the Endless Sugar Bowl. Ruin D. Rainbow Wings for Truth Snark. <laughs> we're hoping. We're hoping, Ruin D. Thank you. Stephanie says it doesn't confirm. So you just have to keep checking your available emotes that are on the bottom. Okay, that's cool. Un yeah, uh, under the unlocked on, on Twitch. Okay. Bella Spalina got the wings. Oh, cool. You get a message. It's easy to miss, though. Okay, so endless sugar bowl. And there are a couple effects here. Or is it this snow? It is the snow. Okay, it is this. Okay, the effects were working then. So we have the endless sugar bowl. Endless sugar bowl. Ooh. It's nearly... F oh, I, I, I feel like the Nixit has cursed this place. Where maybe you wanted endless sugar. Endless sweetness. Big, big pile of goodness. But, eventually, got too much. Got cursed. All the mark... All that much more as a monkey. Maybe indicating a curse here. Are there things hidden in the coffers? There's sugar hidden in the coffer. Oh my gosh, is there more sugar hidden in this coffer? Oh my gosh, there's more sugar hidden in that coffer. How about this coffer? Does this have sugar in it? Oh my gosh, it does. Oh, and we have the little griffin too. Oh, oh, wait, oh yeah, yeah, that's what we want. Derpy griffin with the wings. <laughs> maybe, maybe true snark. Or if anybody, if anybody already has the wings unlocked and they want to sub with a tier three, they would have it too. It's like cheating though. <laughs> Cheat mode. Okay, fun, endless sugar bowl. Just wait, can just like dive into this. Wait, wait, wait. What would be the best way to dive into this? Maybe, maybe like that. That'd be, that'd be me. Maybe not quite so. There we go. Just, ah, uh, love it. Just love that sugar. Big deep breaths. Okay, fun. <laughs> okay, moving along here. Archaic Media's house up next. Archaic Media says, J-Heart, you sound like me pretending like I don't know the lump under a blanket is my child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I actually don't know whatever is going to be in those, except for if the yarn ball's sticking out the back. That was my bad for going around the back, though. <laughs> I, 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 you can surprise me. There, okay, so yes, if you have the Jester's Coffer, if you have the little Curious Turtle, Curious Turtle is difficult because it's like super small. Even the Jester's Coffer is like super small. Or a, a good one is that the Clam, the Clam can open up and right now, right? Or you could get that new... The, the dragon door, the chancel door from the achievement vendor, that does, that does, you know, open up. It doesn't open up that way. It <laughs> opens up that Maybe way. Maybe wings can't for people? Way. This way. This way. Kind of like, uh, can't. Oh, man. Mechanically challenged here. Okay. <laughs> The door opens up. You could maybe use the doors to hide something. True snark. Oh, my gosh. True snark with the bits. Wow. So many mega cheers here. No wings. Wait, True Snark got them? <laughs> True Snark is <laughs> sharing so many. Okay, Archaic Media with a fun... Wow, wow, is this a maze? Did you make a maze in an in-room? How did you even do this? Wait, can I even get through? Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost in an in-room. Okay, I think I can fall through there. I don't want to fall quite yet, though. I'll probably get trapped. Is there... Uh, there better be like a reward at the end of this. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, it took me forever to get here. I've been holding this in forever. Okay, I'm glad. That is my reward. Sweet, sweet relief. Oh, thank you, Archaic Media. Very considerate. Very, I might have been lost in there for hours. So. Awesome places, everyone. <laughs> God, the Graven, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And so, Archaic Media, hiding a bath room. I, you know, at least it blocks out, you know, it gives you a lot of privacy here. You don't have to worry about somebody like 
breaking in. They had to walk through this maze before before they see us. So that that helps. So hidden hidden toilet. Wait, I'm lost. Am I going back the other way? No, here we go. Okay, here we go. Wait, can I sit on this? It's a good way to sit. On Wait, don't think I'll be able to rig the camera in a way I can catch myself sitting on this. <laughs> so we'll just get a screenshot from out here. That will that will work. Say say. What conveys that this has a maze in it? I'll just kind of do it at an angle here. That'll work. <laughs> fun, fun hidden toilet. Archaic says there's water in the bowl too. Wait, there is? Oh, there is. I didn't even notice this. Oh, you use the Daedric drinking bowl? What did you do for it? What did you use for the water? It's not a visual effect. You can maybe see the edges of the bowl. <laughs> Daedric drinking bowl. Okay, clever. And then using this little red run mug here with the spool makes a good little toilet paper roll, right? Good stealable idea. We have the flush handle here using... It has like this weird like clockwork texture to it. I'm not quite sure what it is. Do you know? Do you remember what you used for the, the flush there? It's kind of cool. And a couple of Alinor pieces for the... For the throne, Samantha Jane says, I see no water. It's very clear water. Like, you can barely see the ripples there. Barely see the ripples. Clockwork mug. Clockwork mug handle for that. Ah, clever. Clever. <laughs> Bayushi. Smart. No, no, their furnishings. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll keep moving along. Fun. <laughs> I was I wouldn't think somebody could fit a maze in an in room, right? Really clever archaic media. Okay, next up Chris says. Oh, archaic media says, I thought it would be funnier with no toilet paper, but I decided to go ahead and do it. Well, I appreciate that. I definitely do. <laughs> Okay, moving along to Chrisea's Chris. Okay, now, okay, bit of a warning. Bit of a warning. This place is going to be visual effects overload. I don't know. I don't know how they had the time for it. I hope this doesn't crash. They added 1,300. 1,338 visual effects to this house. Oh man. Oh, there's like a second layer to this place too. Okay, I'm bracing myself. I am bracing myself. Okay, first of all, like using the full bookshelf, like th you can get these craftable. That's just one furnishing, so all those books are included with this elegant short bookshelf here. So that's, that's a good use of using the furnishings. So you can see the visual effects back behind there. We have like the paintings, we have we have the behind the window there. We have the landscape. We have what? Are, okay, what do we have here with the visual effects? <laughs> I can see where some of these visual effects came in. We have we have chocolate chip cookies. This is okay. I want to show that it's each each chocolate chip on this is its own visual effect. Thirteen hundred thirty-eight visual effects total. What is this red thing? Actually, maybe that's just not coming in right. Oh, it's a it's an oven mitt. It's an oven mitt. Yeah, there we go. I think it's a red oven mitt, right? Or a pot holder, right? We have a vase there. Oh, we have the beautiful new Daedrithorn plant, I believe, from the Home Goods Furniture. Really pretty flower. And it's, like, only... 250 gold or something. So lots of cool home goods furnishings. Point those out as I get to him. Oh, we have like these little spices. These are, I, I can see, these are not like individual things because the visual effects are two dimensional, right? So to make these three dimensional, what she had to do is she had to make each side of the box and then add a color in it. I, 
I can even see like there are these little tiny like designs on it that maybe kind of look like the lettering, like it says what is on it. Oh gosh, each with each of those little jars is eighteen visual effects. <laughs> we have a burner, hey, or a the Ouroboros kind of look, right? Sleepy marmot with the follow. Thank you so much. We have a sink. Is that completely made out of visual effects? Gosh, I mean, it, it's like hard to make three-dimensional stuff with two-dimensional objects, right? Oh gosh, each of, the, each of these jars up here too. <laughs> little spice jars and some other things. So colorful. We have the plates, we have... Now one, one good thing, uh, I, I, I was like a little worried if you had to place these like each and every individual one, at least you kind of get like the base model for this, right? And then you can kind of use one of the jars as like, like you can just change it up a little bit, right? <laughs> So that does help. That does help a little bit. Lots of plates up there and other glassware. Oh, okay. And there's a second layer to this. Now I do want to take in just kind of like the uh, aesthetic of this place, which is really nice. We have this, oh, what was this? Gilded? I don't remember the exact name of this. It's, it's one of the new cabinets. This is new craftable furnishing that they're using as a coffee table here. So using it a little bit differently. I think it's normally supposed to be the other way around, right? But that looks cool. Oh, and <laughs> beautiful fireplace using a Eleanor Scots. I think it's an Eleanor Scots there for the little fire grating. That's cool. Adding, oh my gosh. <laughs> adding, adding pictures of Darien. You got to move on. You got to move on. Have people moved on? People moved on to Prefect Kalo. Are you still are you still hung up on Darien? I mean, how could you not be? Maybe maybe you can have a crush on both. So, some people some, I, mean, I don't know if they forgot about Darien. A lot of people moving on to Prefect Kalo. At least we did not see shirtless Prefect Kalo as we as we went through the quest line though. Spoilers, there's no shirtless Prefect Kalo. Back Sorry. off. Sorry. He's mine. <laughs> equals p <laughs> carnal <laughs> carnal says darian is them there's that's funny night says darian is overrated well do you see this do you see this that's that's fun <laughs> and oh each okay you, do you see this this couch okay i just want to show you the visual effects visual effects this cushion has been so this is actually one interesting thing about a lot of the new craftable elsewhere furnishings is that they're kind of Barren, like it's just like plain wood for the most part. They don't have cushions, except for a couple of the bar stools have a couple pillows on them. But for the most part, like these these couches and whatnot don't have cushions. So what Crisea did is with the visual effects, added added a cushion at each and every single one of these polka dots. I can see it's like a little miniature magna geode circle, and each of those is its own visual effect. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, and up above we have a bedroom with the railing. Oh gosh. And we have, oh, I did not think Viking Blair with that follow. Thank you so much. We have, okay, we have a vanity. Okay, what's going on with the vanity? We have, oh, oh, trying to get a good view of it. Okay, we have like a little writing utensil. We have a mirror. We have. I don't know what's going on with this platter. It's like this weird spiral. Is it jewelry? Is it a, is it a pearl necklace on, on the platter there? Pearls for a necklace. Okay, okay. <laughs> These little, little geodes there, little jewelry pieces. That's cool. Okay, and you can see everything from up above, too. Oh, gosh. Okay, where do I get my... Oh, can you get a screenshot of this place? This will have to... Thank you, thank you, thank this you. This will have to do. Man, so much, so much there. The Lazy Lizard with the three-month resub. Thank you so much. You got a beautiful cow head with that. Okay, thank... That'll be good enough. Has to... Oh, man. And just just to read it, what does this look like without the visual effects? Now the cool th now this is this is kind of clever. Well, what is that guy doing there? 
Wait, I missed... Wait, is there stuff going on back there? Why are... Wait, what did they use those for? Why are they... <laughs> Why? I think they're just little Easter eggs. Wait, I wait. I missed a whole room in here. How did I miss a room in an in room? <laughs> There's a bathroom. Gosh, like. <laughs> I don't know how I get lost. How I miss a room in a single room. We have a bathroom with the sink. I was counting up. I was like, I'm not up to 1,338 visual effects. Something was off. Okay, we have the fountain here. We have the shower. Oh, we have a little toilet made out of visual effects. Completely made out of visual effects. Oh my gosh. That's cool. Now, what was the deal with those? I think it's just because you have a separate trophy limit, and so they just put it in there. Or to, does that wood effect actually show through this other way? I don't see. I think it's just completely hidden. Why is he hidden in there? Just a little Easter egg? A little Easter egg? <laughs> it's to block the camera. Oh, clever. So using those extra trophy slots to block the camera angles so that the FX don't have collision. Man, you thought of everything. Okay. Okay, I, I gotta move on. As fun as this place is. Okay, Italy up next. Okay, Italy, 1974. Colonel says, I'm just going to say that everyone is thinking, Crisea, you really need to do more with this apartment. No offense. I, yeah, I mean, there are just so many areas where I thought you could have added more. Get to it. Get to it. No, don't be intimidated. Like, we, we've seen a lot of people just with, like, the 30 items. You can do a lot with just the 30 items, right? But, you know, that was... That basically let you see... All that essential housing tools can do. Well, not all that essential housing tools can do, but like so many of the things that you can do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> NPCs. Ack, 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 ack. I'm not keeping up with it. Collectra. Chrissa needs to teach Cardinal her ways. D. <laughs> Collectra. Chrissa could teach Cardinal a thing or two about his own add on. Thank you, Collectra. Okay, we have, we have the NPCs. Okay, so my beautiful doppelganger move says I prefer Skuma. No. I don't know why I changed my voice when it's my own NPC. <laughs> he that uses skooma says, More moon sugar, please. She who sells, that'd be this one back here, says, Welcome, welcome to the Spice Emporium. Okay, so we're in a Spice Emporium in Italy's Sugar, sugar Bowl Suite. Victor Miguel 7 thank you for the follow. Okay, so I prefer skooma instead of moon sugar is what I say. I don't know. I, I, I'm partial to the moon sugar. It's not, it's not as heavy hitting, right? Moon sugar every day to look young or something like that. Don't do moon sugar, kids. Don't do moon sugar. It's soon, it's soon you'll be doing skooma. Soon, you'll find yourself joining joining a Daedric cult, and then that's when the fun begins. I mean, that's when terrible things happen. Don't don't start with the moon sugar. Don't just don't. Okay, so Italy. Adding the painting here gives us a lot of depth, right? <laughs> we have the cat there. We have these new spice displays, craftable elsewhere furnishing. There's the the mop. So green, the turmeric yellow, and the saffron red. We have the moon sugar there. We have the steamer here. Oh, I can kind of, this is kind of an interesting use of the steamer. It's kind of like you can imagine maybe putting, putting the moon sugar there. <laughs> and the moo, beautiful moo cow back here too. Ah, why is it, why is it mounted there? Okay, really fun place. The... Spice Emporium, Spice Emporium. It's a little weird to sing myself here. The Central Housing Tools does have NPCs that you can add with the visual effects, including beautiful Moo Moi. 
I won't pull that one out too often. Okay, moving along. Thank you, Italy. Really fun, really fun. Adding like a like merchant stall here in the in room. I love the Hakushay lantern here too. That's just like one item from a crown store right now. I think that's the only way to get it. Bella Stoyan says, these are all so creative. I know, I know. The Carnal. real question is which J hard is hotter? You decide. Equals P. Carnal. Thank you so much. Which J heart is hotter? Oh, I don't know. Do you like the three dimensional J heart? Do you like the two dimensional J heart? They're all hot J hearts. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay if you don't have a favorite. <laughs> it's all about the knees. You can see the knees with, with the NPC. <laughs> Tupet says both. <laughs> Thank you. That's the right answer. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for being tactful with that. Thank you. The J hot. J and J thought. No wait. Springy Otter says two D J G makes for easy storage. Yes, I I'm very collapsible. It's fit under the bed. Fit under the bed. Anyway. No, wait. Methody says and does T two D J heart need to be fed? Not often, not often. Oh, wait, there's a Trader Kajit NPC. It says, welcome to Joan and Jode Noodle Shop. I think it's really strange, really coincidental that we went from a spice emporium to a noodle shop. So people may be getting some inspiration from elsewhere, right? Well, they even use the Hakushi one. I don't know. Did they collaborate? Is this convergent thinking? I don't, I, I don't think that they would have... They probably didn't know what the other one is doing, would be my guess. Interesting. So they have the shop, they have the lanterns. You know, these lanterns really draw attention. Like, I, I would expect to see these Hakushay lanterns, like, kind of advertising the presence of a shop, right? So I, I think that works really well. <laughs> and the Wisteria roof. West, wait, Wisteria? Wait, is that? Okay, what in here is visual effects? What is not? That is not actually visual effects. They're saying that's wisteria. Is that a... Is that the top of one of the pergolas? I'm not sure how they got all the greenery up there. It looks cool. The purple and the purple... Oh, the, the purple wisteria from the visual effects too. I'm not sure how they added the, the vines on the top. That's not actually a visual effect on the top. These are the wisteria up here. Nice and colorful. Okay, so we have... We have... The noodle shop. Now, what what do we have with the noodle shop? Oh, okay, cool thing. So we have like the like a lucky cat, right? Lucky cat welcoming us to the noodle shop. We have <laughs> we have noodle shop patrons. We have little chopsticks here. Those are some sort of like little flutes, right? Little flutes being used for the chopsticks being shrunken down. We have the new elsewhere noodle bowls. Those are craftable. Well, cats don't exist. <laughs> Poor little two dimensional cats. Could only put 30 items in here. Had them make some cuts somewhere. Oh, using the... I believe that's the clockwork... Oh, this is clockwork lamppost. Clockwork lamppost and the, the stoneware pot there. That makes a really cool burner. And then adding the flame here with the visual effects. So nice, nice and hot. I imagine if you had more item limits, you could probably just put like a normal brazier under there to have the fire. But that, that makes good use of the space and the item limits. So that's cool. And, oh, oh, we have another couple of... I wasn't expecting them to have room for both couples. Oh, <laughs> so we have more noodles over here. So we have like a, a noodle shop for some elsewhere Elfique, I assume. Unless if house cats have money. Nah, nah. Oh, they even have fish. Oh, they're putting fish into it. That makes sense. And using a new rolling pin. Oh, this is... Oh, that's a visual effect. That's, that's kind of cool. So, you know, if you're making noodles, right, you would have a nice flat sheet so you could cut them up. So that works really well. <laughs> and adding fish to the noodles. I always wondered what this meat was. Is it pork? Is it chicken? Well, this one, this one might just be fish. <laughs> I 
This is Colonel says, eek, that fish got stabbity doomed. <laughs> Um, this is one clever thing that you can do with, like, the cleavers. You know, I've seen this with hams or a really good use with the fish, cutting off the fish head. <laughs> Just throw it in. Throw it in. Makes nice broth. Very active. I, what did they use for the base here? It's like either the top of a dark elf pot. Might be the, the bottom of a dark elf pot turned upside down. Not entirely sure. Green would be kind of dark elfy. Might be that for the cutting board. Cool, really cool. Did I get a screenshot? Oh, where did, oh, can I get everything in here? The problem is these, these, I love these new elsewhere dividers, by the way. Like, they just scream elsewhere style. Oh, okay, where do I get, where do I get a good screenshot of this? Maybe, maybe out here. And we have fine selection of sake, maybe? Cane mead, maybe cane mead and elsewhere. Uh oh, <laughs> need a good angle for this, for this green shot. Okay, that, that might, no, I can't get everything in it. Yep, I won't get the fire. Okay, we're good, we're good, moving along, moving along. That was really, that was really cool. Okay, that was Gothic Ravens? That was Gothic Ravens, right? Okay, next up, sound illustrations. Dark Elf face. Ah, I was right, I was right. <laughs> kind of. Let's <laughs> call it a pot, not a vase. Close enough. Get behind the counter, could have worked. Moon sugar rum. Moon sugar rum for the drinks for the noodle shop. That works. Nintel says, I think this is my, oh yeah. So if you, ha if you do have favorites, Good. <laughs> I'll, I'll be I'll be judging these and going through these. Maybe maybe get Stormahawk to help me if it's close. It's go, it's gonna be so hard to decide when. It's, okay. Well, now we've had like a couple fun merchant shops. Now we get to something totally different. We, this is the first kind of like dark theme that we've seen here today during the tours, right? So we have a full on Dark Brotherhood Sweet Mother build. In an in room. What are you doing? You're not. You're not. Don't. Don't go murdering people. Don't murder people. Make me sad if I hear that you murder people. It's a necro home. Love the lighting. Yeah, with with the green stuff and like that uh, stained window up above just kind of gives a lot of color color to this place. And then using a lot of these tapestries. I think these were the ones on the luxury vendor. This past weekend so maybe they were inspired by the, the luxury vendor <laughs> if you were able to get to it before it disappeared early <laughs> I don't know if they have a fix for this weekend oh that's fun that's fun okay little screenshot there beautiful Dark Brotherhood. So maybe, maybe you go, you have a mark, and they come back here and get rejuvenated. Or maybe this is like a secret meeting place. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Or maybe I am supposed to be here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna become one. Become part of the Dark Brotherhood. Rashadic MLG with the follow. Thank you so much. Okay, moving along. Going to Skull Lords up next. Cuddly old Dreadfather. And Eli says, this is cool. It definitely is. And Dubat says, lie. Of course I don't worship Daedra. <laughs> never do. Never do. Okay. <laughs> sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, that the sins of the unworthy may be baptized in blood and fear. I may have messed it up. Archaic media. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. I oh, was cool seeing all these different takes. Okay, Skull Lord had a little bit of a backstory for this. A little bit of a backstory for this place that we're going into. Skull Lord has a reputation. <laughs> Skull Lord's backstory was this. Is that I have been swallowed. 
I have been swallowed, and I don't know why he thought this was something that needed to be emphasized, but I taste awful. I taste awful. Maybe I'm about to come back up. I, I get the feeling maybe I'm about to g come back out. So I've been swallowed. I'm looking. I'm looking. I think that's the teeth. I hope. I hope that's the teeth of a monster. This this is the mouth, right? I'm not going back out the other end. I I think so. Wait. <laughs> it's the oh wait no that's no wait this is the mouth. Wait 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 wait. That's the mouth. This would be the tongue. This would be the dangly thing, and this would be going down the pipe, down the esophagus. I'm not sure. I'm totally disoriented. Skullord says I taste awful. I I am a delicious 100% grass-fed beefy cow. Okay, that's lies. Put it on the label anyway. No, the you you you've a lot. Yeah, that's right. Wait, am I going down? Is this the esophagus or is this the mouth? Are those teeth? I'm going to assume this is the mouth. It looks like angry eyes. Is wait. Okay, I think I think I understand this a little bit more. It's it's a weird monster. Skull Lord going with a really abstract look for this place. I think what is going on this is is this. I am in the Oh gosh. <laughs> the perception on this is weird. Where I, I believe the monster has eyes on these tendrils and it has it hates the, my flavor and so it has twisted its eyes on these stalks so it's looking at me and it's really angry at me because I taste bad. So I am inside the mouth of the monster. This is actually the monster's tongue, not the uvula. And this this would be the esophagus then going down. Like, yeah, see, so yeah, somebody else is, is being swallowed by the esophagus. Okay, I'm trying to orient here. So this is totally different. So it's like, a, yeah, I've been, been eaten by some sort of a monster, like a slug. I've been eaten by like a slug, and it's now looking at me through its own mouth. So it's like twisting its, and it hurts its eyes, and it's looking at me angry-like. And it's like, Jay Hart, you taste bad. I'm angry at you because you taste bad. I'm not going to spit you out just yet. I might swallow you anyway. I think that's what the perspective here. It's really that took a while, and this this would be the, the the tongue then, and this is the esophagus. I'm going. Am I so? I'm, come on, you can spit me out. You can spit me out. And yeah, we have these little little shards here for the teeth. So that's a weird monster. A really weird monster. Doesn't like me. What did I do? I mean, I, I taste I taste delicious. Maybe I just have to convince the monster that I taste delicious. Is it a matter of pride? Do I convince Do I convince the monster that I I am bad to eat and it should spit me out? It looks like I have a chance. I have a chance. I don't know how Skull Lord came up with this. I think I'm interpreting that right. Took Took a while. Yeah, so it has eyes on its stalks and it's looking at me through its own mouth. Weird. You're super weird. Don't swallow me, monster. I'll give you indigestion. My horns might get stuck in your esophagus. I don't want to be like this guy. Look, you just ate anyway. You don't want to eat another one right so soon, right? Just spit me out. Call it a day. Call it, okay. Let me... <laughs> oh, those are decorative uh, sky shards. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I need to get a good screenshot of this. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go back far here. It might swallow me anyway. Okay, moving. <laughs> a little bit of a mystery. It's like really abstract. Where's that arm from? Oh, I, oh no, 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 no. Arm is from, I think it, it's not the soul shriven. Statue? Maybe it's like, like a, one of the Eleanor statues? Some sort of dead body? I don't know. That monster lives in Aradin. Wait, is it actually based off of something? It looks... It seems really strange. The Kin Lady statue has the arm up. <laughs> so Matthew Jane says I liked it. 
Oh gosh, that was that was weird. <laughs> I don't know what else to make of it. I taste delicious. I would I would I would get swallowed by the monster before I would admit I taste awful. I taste I I'm beefy beefy cow beefy delicious cow. Juicy. Oh, I'm so juicy. Okay, Swan Song's up next. Sorry. Okay, so Swan Song says this is Sajira Ko's business. Let's see, what is Swan Song's business? Seems to be Tailor Shop. Tailor Shop. Oh, using a lot of the new elsewhere furnishings for for this with this clothier. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. With with the Khajiit. Oh, a cat, a cat is taking taking over my barstool space. I want to have a sit. I want to get it fitted here. Oh, 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 oh I'll get in there too. Oh, I've been stepping all over you. I didn't see you down there. You're so small. <laughs> With a little spool. Like, I wouldn't even see the spool here if the cat wasn't next to it. And so using some of these new fabrics, the hanging fabrics, so these are the five, five by five, and these are the five in a cluster. Now this is interesting. So putting these in a cluster, because they're, they're hanging, and then flipping it upside down so you can add them to the basket. Have a bunch of colorful things coming out of the basket, all rolled up. Is that cat the proprietor? I believe it might be. I have coin. <laughs> I need something. I keep I keep getting my horns stuck on my shirts as I try to put them on. Maybe, maybe I need something buttoned up. <laughs> something that looks nice and colorful. Outfit station here fits nicely. The elsewhere divider. Oh, a little bit of privacy here. Really nice, really nice. Okay, where do I go? Where, okay, if I'm gonna get fitted here, get get my butt measurements here. Get my butt measurements for the screenshot. There we go. Oh, okay, there we. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Swan Song. Thank you. Expect to get that shirt soon. Okay, Lazy Lizard. Up next. Fun. These are fun. Sajira Ko's business. I wonder, so, so the cat, cat must have been Sajira Ko. Okay, Lazy Lizard, call this a Kajiti Merchant. Kajiti Merchant, we've seen a few merchants. Wonder what this one will be peddling. What will it be? What will it be? I'm excited, these are so fun. Like each one's, each one has its own take. Wait, could, could you be merchant with a bed? Wait, what is this? Or is, no, this was a home for a GD merchant. I don't think it was a merchant shop. It's, wow, this merchant must be doing really well. GD merchant doing some really good coin transactions here. Okay, yeah, I think I misinterpreted that. It's not, this isn't the merchant's shop. This is where the merchant lives. Wow, they're doing very well for themselves. It's, it's amazing how, like, rich the elsewhere furnishings look, right? <laughs> yeah, they had, a, they had to peddle a lot, a lot of goods to afford all this. Yeah, it's amazing how ornate everything looks. And we have this. This is the first time I've seen this in the house, by the way. This, this gilded sugar pipe. This looks like it's for very well-to-do Khajiit merchants. And, and, uh, mid sugar there. Beautiful. Come have a sit. I'll, hopefully, hopefully I'm welcome here. Maybe, maybe they bring some of their best clients in here. Have, have some cane me together. Yeah, love, love the, love these new pillows. I, this is one of the new pillows. New elsewhere candle as well. 
how else does this Kajiti merchant live? Ooh, they have this really fancy incense. And I had noticed, no, I don't know if people will do this. This incense has like this kind of creative thing where it has these, these holes kind of punched out of it. So you can actually see through it. It's potentially a place that you could hide something. You wouldn't be able to open it up, but if you kind of move back and forth, you might be able to figure out what was in there. I don't know if there's many things that you could hide in there that people would be able to figure out, but maybe, <laughs> maybe you could add something to it. <laughs> okay, going to get a good screenshot of this and then, ooh, ooh, how's it going to be? The divider makes it tricky. The divider makes it tricky. Maybe, maybe for more like here. I won't get this, I won't get the pipe in it though. I like the pipe. No, oh, it's okay. Got most of the room in it that way. It's a little weird for a screenshot. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is a better angle. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, moving along. Okay, next up, Elisa Terra's. <laughs> Elisa Terra said this was cute. I. Would we'll probably be in agreement. If Elisa Terra thinks it's cute, I'll probably think it's cute. We are Stormhawk counting. Yeah, I think we're 17 sub points away from unlocking another emote. So yeah, if you have Twitch Prime and you can sub, that'd be cut. That'd be cool. Where Trudy says fun one, definitely. <laughs> Loving all the new emotes in the chat, too. Okay, Sugar Bowl Sweet from Elisa Terra up next. I'm excited. I'm excited. For cute. Cute in room. Taking a little bit longer to load this one for some reason. Must be chock full of cute goodness. <laughs> First thing I see are cobwebs. I'm like, is this supposed to be cute? <laughs> it's, uh, it has not been used in a while. Poor unloved bed. Wait, do I have the visual effects on? No, oh, I had them on. Okay, good. <laughs> Wait, oh, wow, banker, banker hoarding. Hey, banker has a bit of a hoarding problem. That's a lot of sex and stuff. Merchant. Merchant has a couple backpacks, too. Say this is abandoned. All that's left are the hoarding merchant and bankers. Oculin says maybe the owner was eaten by a dragon. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, yes. Maybe. Maybe I see somebody. Somebody had been hoarding these. You know, they have inventory management issues. They. They. They have. They have all their mules here, represented by all of these bags, and 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 the, you know, the merchant, the craft bag, and everything. They're chock full, but then they got eaten by a dragon. Oh no, the wagonator got them. No, it's the, the dragon, dragon. This is for all of our fallen ESO players. Could be that. I don't. I don't know if there's a background here. Spider webs can be cute. <laughs> oh, it's a terra. Is there's. Oh, it's a mosquito net. Is that what it's supposed to be? <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I like it better as a mosquito net. <laughs> we can see through it. Okay. Okay. So we're, we have. We have. We still have the hoarding problem. I see all these bags here. Shivering cheese here. Nice and fresh. And a spider net, or a spider net, <laughs> a mosquito net made out of spider web. It's basically a spider net. It keeps in the spiders, keeps in the spiders, so you're never, never lonely. I don't know how well I would sleep here. It's just gonna go ahead and have a little nap, nap here. Okay, nice and protected. Right. Get a better angle on that one. 
Well, oh, I'm so cute. Okay. <laughs> okay, fun. Mosquito net. I I think I need, I wouldn't have guessed that unless if you said it. Maybe you would need something else. I can hear the music box. I hear the music box playing. How? Oh, the music box is right there. This is why we need signs in the game so you can like give people a few instructions. What table is the cheese on? This is one of the Cidric tables. You can get these from the merchant. The, you can get the plan for it from the merchant in Arteum. And then you craft these. They're, they're buying on pickup though. So you can craft these for yourself. Oftentimes overlooked. It's fun though. It's fun though. Okay. I feel a lot safer with the mosquito net because... You know, as you go around, I always wonder about, like, all the bugs in places. Or I see people's nice gardens and courtyards, and I'm like, oh, but I have to worry about all the, the terrible bitey things. So, you've thought through that. I do like that. Okay. Fun place. We'll keep moving along. Thank you, Elisa Terra. Moving on to Ishtakat's house up next. We're about halfway through. Yes, yes. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Had 41 homes total. Lisa Terra says they can't hear it. I wonder, I should be ca picking it up. Okay, Ishtakat has a meditation room for us. Interested to see what that is. We did see a couple of like relaxing gardens before. I wonder if it will be garden-themed, or if it'll be something else. What says meditation room? Incense? Oh, I see, we do have the meditation ring. And these kneelers. And apparently, lots of skooma. It's a lot of skooma bubblers. So you can rest your mind. So this is emphasizing a couple of the new furnishings from elsewhere, including this beautiful new instance. I don't dare go on this ring because I'm going to mess it up. Okay, I want to get closer to it so I can see it, though. I might mess the ring up a little bit. That's okay. So we do have this beautiful, ornate incense burner, right? That looks lovely. And we do have these new meditation rings as well. Kind of sandy effect, kind of like zen garden feel, so we can use these. Inside or outside? A couple new tapestries as well. Healing crystals and skooma. Oh, yeah, I definitely am feeling this. I, mean, I don't know if I can get a picture of myself. Okay, well, I'll get a screenshot. Thank you, Miliana, with a follow. Thank you so much. Well, I might... Oh, might just have to kneel while not on the kneeler. Because <laughs> I think the camera is not going to like me otherwise. Let's find a yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, well we'll just we'll just we'll just get a picture without me in it. Okay, I like myself in the pictures. That's okay. Cool meditation room. Really well done. I can imagine people coming into this in room and gathering and meditating and maybe maybe chanting or umming, right? Okay, and moving along to Cloud Traders. Cloud Trader up next. 40, oh, Saren Vind says 41 on EU. No, it's 36. We had 36 entries for PCNA and five for EU. I got more EU people to get in on these, but was, I'm glad that we had a few entries from EU. We'll be doing those at the end. So Zen, Delia says. Mortal Beard says, how goes it? It's going well. We're touring sugar, bowl, sweet contest entries. We had a lot of them, and they're, they're really fun. Ooh, we have Cloud Trader with a totally different theme. We have sacrifices being made. We have the sixth house totem, or is that a visual effect? Nope, that's the sixth house totem. It's been turned up to down and shoved into the ground, so you get this cool look, a red light effect. 
Are we summoning something? We're sacrificing something. Smuggler, what are you hoping to accomplish here? Surely creep. Ooh, we have like. Wait, each of these. Wait, is this a new moon? Temple pad? Is this from the temple pad? Or is this the Merkmire calendar? I think it's a new temple pad because it has the moons on it, right? From the achievement vendor. We have different sacrifices being made. We have like this vial of blood, a bowl of blood. We have the heart here. Seems to be the last thing needed. And the whole head there. That's the Mark. That is the Mark Meyer calendar. Okay, Mark Meyer calendar has moons on that too. Okay, good to know. <laughs> good to remember. I mean, I've seen them before. And I'll just kind of sit here in the corner and watch whatever the smuggler does. Sound like a plan? And then again, on the other side, so I can actually see everything for the screenshot. I don't, I don't, I don't want to know what she's hoping to accomplish here. Probably sub summoning something. Probably going to be a scamp or something, right? <laughs> Summon a titan into the in room. That's that's probably how it goes. Okay, fun fun build from Cloud Trader. I, maybe I don't want to stick around to see what gets summoned from this. Oh wait, Cloud Trader says a book on the table tells the tale. Invocation of Azura tells the tale. Oh, what are you, what are you summoning? Azura? Wait, you're, this is an homage to Azura. Wait, nocturnal to a nocturnal. I see. Okay, so this is a this is a sacrifice to nocturnal, right? Funky Red Thing says the red sigil on the floor is the Merkmire calendar. No, the the red sigil is the sixth house totem, which you get from an achievement vendor, and then this is the Merkmire calendar. Just these little things. It's been sunk in enough that you can just see the little circles. Otherwise, you would see the whole calendar. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Trader, if you want to fill us in with the uh, with the backstory a little bit more, that'd be good. Yeah, Cloud Trader says that the Merkmire calendar is half sunk into the floor. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, moving along. There's so much to take in. Like I, I feel bad that I had to move so fast between each one. Okay, Hornhab <laughs> calls this build Al Cat Pones. Crazy Corner Cub. Crazy Corner Club. Crazy Corner Club. So we have a have a club from Al Cat Pone. Kajiti Mobster, I presume. And wait, it's two things. It's a Crazy Corner Club and a health spa. Ms. Euraxias' health spa. What the heck? Hornhead is here because we have we have animations going on. I don't know if I wanna know. Okay, we have NPCs. <laughs> the skeletons are saying <laughs> Yow, yow, yow. Another skeleton says, This band rocks. Skeleton says rocks with the moo horns. Skeleton NPC says, does the band rock or not? Oh wait, <laughs> might not be in the right order. Does this band rock or not? This band rocks. Boogity boogity boo, says the skeleton. <laughs> Werewolf drummer says, waroo. And El Capone there says, welcome. Welcome to El Capone's Cozy Corner Club. Order drinks, enjoy, or else. Uh-oh, I better order some drinks then. How did you fit so many <laughs> in here? Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I'm a wanted moo. Reward 100 septums for... Wanted for public lewdness. No, this is a nice family, family friendly house tour stream. Oh no, what did I do? What? I've never been lewd, I've never been lewd. Skeleton crew there. 
<laughs> werewolf patron. Oh, it's like a little baby werewolf. <laughs> Necro Knight Ball Event. <laughs> I see. The, the, the skeletons are having a ball. And drinking. Oh, this is a band. Wait, no, this is a band. They have the horns. And the flute there. Oh, wait, is that Hornheb? <laughs> Hornheb is the skeleton. That's cute. That's very clever. And the werewolf is on 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 the drum. Oh, we have a little turbo too. Oh, that's cute. Turbo there for moral support. And up above we have a second second floor. Wait, how how am I not close enough to all these NPCs to trigger them already? Say, oh, uh, okay. Mrs. Al Cap Hone says, I'm off duty after the show. Wink. Uh oh. <laughs> Customer says, hop into the water, it's fine. Oh, I see. So this is Ms. Uraxia's health spa. So you managed to fit a lot into this place, Hornheb. We have, we have a skooma skeleton. I don't see... This is what skooma does to you. What skooma will do to you. So adding a lot of visual effects here with essential housing tools. I don't, I don't know. It's, it doesn't look like the water is fine. It does, does, does she look like she's fine? She looks like she's in agony. I think I'll stay away, though. I seem like I wasn't able to resist myself. <laughs> rude, rude. Okay, how to. <laughs> Wait, 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 I didn't even see this one. Wanted for criminally bad jokes, Hornheb. I, I, I see that you would be. I see that you would be. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can join in here with the dancing. Would be appropriate. Khajiit, Khajiit dance, there we go. Get a good screenshot here. Best I can. Okay, and moving along. Thank you, Hornheb. That was really fun. That was really fun. <laughs> it's a corner club and a health spa. And you were able to do you were you were able to do all that within the small inn room. It's good use of the space there. Bella Stolian says, My husband is taking issue with these daily streams. Oh, <laughs> But we have so much fun stuff to cover. Yeah, so I, I will be streaming Widow Films tomorrow, and then we have our ho housing hike on Friday, too. It's okay. You don't have to see them all. Though I do appreciate all of your support. <laughs> Ballastingly says, it's so much fun. I know, I know. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. Take... Zhulong NPC says, I'll take a small bag of those White Widow when you get time. The store clerk says... I'll take your order, ready in just a moment. Crispy Critter says, ooh, Macaulay tickets are going on sale. Lash says, why are they always out of the kind I want? Shopkeeper says, and I'll be glad when today is over. I bet you would be. So, wait, there's a backstory here. I wrote it down somewhere. Zendaira says, this is a skooma shop that sells concert tickets as well. <laughs> I'm going to... I. I don't know, I don't know anything wait, about the naming, naming system for these. So we have, we have, we have skooma in various varieties here. It's very upscale. Totally legal here, right? Totally legal. This looks, we have Orc Rest Gold, otherwise known as OG. We have Sunspy Red. We have Sistrice Popcorn, different flavors of skooma. We have this sugar pipe here. We have other Rimmin Lemon Haze, Riverhold White Widow. White Widow. White Widow seems to be very popular. Somebody's ordering that. Black Cat Tar. Out of stock. Oh, none left. Wanted that one. <laughs> the Vardenfell Trio. Oh, so we have the concert. These, these must be the concert posters then. Interesting. What? Adding an art thing. This must have been added recently for the visual effects. Interesting. Totally legit tickets, too. 
Good, good. That's what I like to hear. Oh, yeah, other art being added. So this is all from the visual effects, isn't it? Macala, Tamriel, Tor, <laughs> Darian. Darian and the Misfits. Somerset, Isle, Tor. Ooh. So many good choices. Other concert tickets on sale today. Mickey and the Elsewhere Rats at Hunting's Palace. Half off posters. Oh, this must be some. This must be some of the past past events or unpopular ones. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, it's, oh wait, guest journal too. Okay, have to send that. E send the journal. There we go. Oh, it's a lot going on here. Where would I? Okay, I wanna. I think I need to have myself in front of the nice spicy green. Skuma, right? Oh, there's... Oh, wait, can't quite see. I need a screenshot with everything in it. It's not possible. I have to be good enough. <laughs> that was really fun. The Rimen Emporium. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't even see all that. Skuma... Skuma Wine. Two for 25 gold. Wow, that's like super cheap. Lost leader is it's to get you hooked. Might be to get you hooked. <laughs> Zendaya says, don't forget the CBD candy and cheese. Wait, oh, I didn't even see the table over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> little edible ca little candies. And Shogareth cheese. <laughs> Got to try to get me out of trouble here. <laughs> it's okay. I hope, oh, I'll walk. Not what I wanted. I'm just drawn to this corner. Thank you, Zendaya. Really creative. Okay, next we'll go to Kwana Arin 13 Sugar Bowl Suite. Oh, the music, it never ends. <laughs> the load screen. It's okay, it's okay. It's soothing, it puts me at ease. Let's me forget things. Zendaya says, it's elsewhere. It's Khajiit. What do you expect? Exactly. It's, it's getting into the sugar, sugar madness, right? There are parallels there. I didn't anticipate. Sugar madness. <laughs> Don't let your kids go there. I can't escape the music. It's following me. Okay, Quina Alrin 13s. They said, okay, they said that they lied to the innkeeper about something. What did they lie to the innkeeper about? Wait, 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 we have sweet, sweet mother? I mean, it's just a nice relief statue. You know, it's, it's nice and sweet. You know, kids, they respect their mom. I, I, that's, that's good ideals there. Okay, what's, what's through here? What's through, oh, oh, okay, they... They may, they may worship Namira. They they might worship Daedric princes. They might worship Namira especially, which is like one of the creepier ones. <laughs> this is totally claustrophobic. Now that's actually a good point. Like <laughs> one of the prize categories here is for best use of space. This like really makes us feel claustrophobic. With like they're really closed in bed here. No kids respect their mom's lol. Trust me, cheeky smiley face. Oh, Delia, I, I know, but ideally, 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 I understand. Yeah, this is really closed off. I really feel like Namira is like closing in. Feel, feel Namira's presence here. The lighting effect from the Rathana de Renata wall here. Ooh, it's like coming out of the. Like, Moloch Ball head. Is that Moloch Ball? I think it is. Like, super evil in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see this, this smuggler down here. Wow, she blends in. It's so dark there. With all the, like, lighting effects, too. The oh, wait, we have, like, a corpse. Oh, I did oh, it's, like, been super impaled. What's with smugglers and all their sacrifices to Daedric Princes? <laughs> and Shao in the fire. Oh... That's okay. I'll play along. I mean, I don't. I don't want bad things to happen to me. 
Praise Namira. Praise Namira. Here we go. <laughs> That's really creepy. <laughs> okay. We'll keep going. Next up, Kuna Arena. Okay, next up, we'll go to Dojo Hodas. The line says, so cool. Definitely. But Yoshi says, now we have a proof. We have proof. <laughs> that was clever. It really is. Spicy green color from Nanaterra. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful Mugenta as well. <laughs> yeah, anybody that has a subs can can mess with my lights. So we have lights over here and up here and lights straight back there. So there are actually lights in my room. I don't know if neighbors care. I don't think they do. <laughs> there's there's nothing over this way. Do wait, is is one of these I see skeletons. Now this is where I I, I made this mistake in Hornheb's house where one of the skeletons turned out to be a real person. Okay, I think that I'm the only person in here, though. Okay. Dojo Hodas. Okay, they say this was a master necromancer. And this is like an outdoorsy look. Yeah, so this has really been transformed. I mean, one, one slight issue with these houses is you can't actually like build right on top of the door, so you can't really hide that very well. But, because you have to be able to get in and out of it, right? But... Everything else here, like, it's, like, been transformed. Like, it's this very outdoorsy look. And you have this necromantic ritual here. That's really cool. Samantha Jane says, when you get to my room, it will be, like, my name. Plain Jane. That's fine, too. A good variety here we've seen. <laughs> is, wait, is that a necromancer? Is that... <laughs> is this a necromancer? He's using the lich there. <laughs> the little scarecrow arms. And a cute little top, cute, cute little grassy top, <laughs> cute flowery top for the necrobats are there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, Pamphagus with the gifted sub bomb. Oh my gosh, we're going to be doing so many giveaways at the end of this. Pamphagus has been amazing. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I say they got paid today. Thank you so much. Wow, wow, getting us closer to our next emote unlock and getting us so we do more giveaways at the end. That'll be cool. Yeah, so if you, you just, if you are Nanique thank you, One, thank you, thank you. Nurgolegrin, <laughs> Zerbit, or the Caesar Salad, or Skio, you've just been gifted a sub. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, thank you so much. I mean, it's gonna use all the spicy move emotes and mess with my thank lights. You, thank, you, thank you, And thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and so, so yeah. Not to detract too much from this necromantic ritual. Oh, this is this is fun. I like the necromancer there. We see all all the other skeletons. They're kind of like you. helping here. That's fun too. <laughs> thank you again. Thank you again. And Matthew says this one has a ton of detail for thirty item limit. Yeah, that's that's one thing that's really, really stands out. So not only did they transform this place, so it looks like it's outdoorsy and it looks like it's nighttime because they use the cold harbor rocks and. Put them in the walls and you know using using other things like i see the the ossuary i believe from from the or maybe it's from one of the daedric packs there was an ossuary it had all the skeleton the, the skulls in it right these skulls back here or just a couple of a couple of plants here and there and then using like their their animals here could just put two pets in an in room so they have a creepy toad Creepy, creepy basilisk. Set powder, set powder is a set powder. <laughs> Think of the basilisk. Yes. So really adding to this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is, I didn't even notice this. The set powder is like wrap, wrapped around the skeleton's neck. That's so cool. Purdue Viper. Thank you. Thank you with that raid. We are touring Sugar Bowl Sweets right now. There you go. Shout out to Purdue Viper. Oh my God. There you go. You have a, you have a nice boa there, right? It's a set batter. It's not a boa. Fashion. It's crazy fashion. Crazy skeleton fashion. All the necromancers are wanting that. <laughs> so, necromancer ritual. Did I get myself here? Okay. Get a good screenshot of this. 
Oh man, I wish I could stay and look at all the details, because there's been like a lot that's been into this. But we have to keep moving. Moving along. Moving along the Silver Thorns. Silver Thorns up next. Just stab myself with a pen. Lovely. Really creative there, Dojo. Manimal Cracker says, Hi, good to see you, Manimal Cracker. It's fun, it's fun. It's now he says, Where are those bats from it? And what is flying on top? Oh, did that, I didn't even see. Did that have visual effects? It might have had a couple of visual effects. I did not even notice them. They fit in so well. There might have been bat visual effects in there. I did. I, they fit so naturally, I didn't even point them out. <laughs> if that's what they were. Oh, okay, that wasn't what it was. I didn't think, I didn't see any... Yeah, P Pewter Person says, they were the crows from the Scarecrow. Oh, yeah, the, the Scarecrow that was made for the Necromancer at the arms there. As the, it has the crows that fly around it. So that's what those were. Okay, a little confused by that. Now we're all good. Okay, Silver Thorns up next. Ooh, a cool... Kind of like a research nook. That's cool, that's cool. Oh, this nook, a couple of little creative elements in here too, like using this Red Guard urn, the star, star luck, makes a beautiful candle holder. I don't know why I haven't seen more people do this. I don't know if they came up with this or if they stole this from somebody else, but stealable idea. Like you see how it has like the octagon shape to it, right? So the light kind of bounces off of a, a different direction. That's really cool. Love, love little details like that. Makes a great candle holder. Bar uh, Party Viper says borrowed. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Stealable. Just keep passing on these great ideas. <laughs> and now I, I see the back wall of the in room. What what Silverthorn has done with this house here is they they have this Eleanor Grandfold bookshelf and they they pushed it in just far enough into the wall that you get a couple of the the details of the wall coming through here so it kind of makes makes the bookshelf feel a bit more elsewhere e right so I, I like that they kept that there and then adding the the calanda stone there for a lot of light in this room so as far as good use of space we are using a bright light like bright light like a calanda stone or a barla stone makes you have better efficient use of your limited item slots right when he says very immersive or was that the yes <laughs> either of them either of them nine tail says nice and scholarly yes wait can i sit on the other side of this bench i don't think i can really sit here no i guess i can sit here <laughs> just think about things think about what i'm going to be writing about okay lovely lovely Yeah, using this Eleanor bookshelf there, just it's just one item. It's full of books and everything. So yeah, making good use of the space with that big carpet here on the floor too. Love these red guard carpets. Nice scholarly room. Come here, get some writing in, get some reading in, get some eating in with a guest. With a guest. Life goals. <laughs> Really great build from Silverthorn. Okay, we'll keep moving along too. Cloudtrader says it's a nice book nook. Exactly. <laughs> elsewhere e, elsewhere ish, elsewhere esque. I don't, yeah, what would be the proper suffix for it? <laughs> Zulash just says I love that sunken bowl for the candle. I know, I know. Apparently, other people have seen it before. <laughs> okay, we're going to Miss Katie 420's place up next. Curious what her take on this will be. Stephanie says, I think elsewhere sounds right. 
And Miss Katie, oh, Miss Katie's here. Says, yay, fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Central Magic. Central Magic with a jar, jart love. <laughs> thank you, Central Magic. Thank you for the resub. Big hype, big hype. Ms. Katie has a, oh, beautiful fountain. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We need more emotes. <laughs> Ruin D is correct, correct. We do need more emotes. Wow, six, yeah, so that gives out six emotes to people. Oh, so many bits. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Big hype, big hype. <laughs> and if you get if you get the new emotes from the Twitch chat, from the promotion, from the from the Pride Month, be sure to put those in the chat, or you can use them with the, the spicy moo, moo emotes too. Colorful wings. Okay, Ms. Katie has... Oh, yeah. I, man, this this Elsewhere Fountain fills in a lot of space here. Just using half of it. Now, that's one thing. Like, this Elsewhere Fountain, you know, it's like full lawn, like big circle with, with the four, four lions on it, right? Well, you can sink that in. You don't have to use the whole thing. You can just use... So, use a semicircle fountain here. Miss Katie, maybe wasn't even partial to the lions covered up with the statue and, and the wisteria here. Makes it feel a lot more like the Eleanor effect, but you still get this beautiful fountain with the with the edge along here. And yeah, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And the Hakoshe lanterns up there. Beautiful blue lights. Kind of set the mood here. Kibo 1001 with a follow. Thank you. Welcome to our Sugar Bowl Sweet Challenge. We are touring houses that were entered into the contest. We have 41 entries. We're currently in Ms. Katie 420s. Oh, I see, I see the sugar pipe there, too. Elegant. So a bit of a spa feel here. With a fish. <laughs> with a cat. With a fish. Maybe this is... Maybe maybe this is the, the spa host. Little Elfique. <laughs> this is your payment. This, this gives you... This gives you an hour... Here, where you can you can make use of the sugar pipes, make use of the fountain, maybe just relax here. We do have some fresh clothes here. Maybe you do take a dip in the fountain. I don't know. It, it, it looks it looks fresh enough, right? Stormhawk says, "Jayheart, how many subpoints more are needed?" Eleven, I believe. Unless I may fall off right away. <laughs> Delicious says, "Love the wisteria in the fountain." I know Samantha Jane says, "Very elegant." And Tara says, what's interesting is that putting large items in a small home actually makes the area look bigger and not smaller. Yeah, it kind of like stretches it out a little bit, right? So it's taking up a lot of space here, but makes it look makes it look nice and nice and big. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It's magic. Oh okay, I'll get a screenshot from the corner here. And getting a screenshot of each one as we go through here, so... Oh, I won't get the sugar pipe in the picture. Maybe I don't need a sugar pipe in... Oh, there, it's in the picture. It's kind of in the picture. <laughs> with the statue up above. Oh, there's so many beautiful colors going on with this room, too. Right? The purples and the reds. Kind of ties it, ties it all together. Like, even even I see, like, the, the wisteria over here, and then, like, the purple, purple cloth there, or the purple here. Good, good choices. Okay. Beautiful for Miss Katie. Next up, we'll go to Wur. Wur Trudy's. Hey, you're here. Perfect. Wur Trudy says, this suite is a small one. You could you could walk. <laughs> Bell Stolia says, it's lovely. Definitely, definitely. Now, Wur, if I remember correctly, said that they got a fountain. Maybe a prize on the stream here. I gave away a few before. And they were in Fired. Most of them totally re misremembering. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. And so they wanted to maybe use the fountain. Maybe they were just inspired by the fountain. I'm curious because we we're just looking at a fountain. Miss Katie said, I had fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Katie. Oh, it's fun. It is fun. Oh, I, I mean, it's amazing what you can do with 30 items, too. Like, seriously. And, and just like in that last one, there were a couple, like, Crafted items, a couple of like home goods furnishings. A lot of a lot of those are really accessible. Sugar pipe, not so much, but <laughs> maybe eventually. Were oh, did use the fountain. <laughs> this so totally different. I think this is funny. So 
So we just were in Miss Katie's house where where she used just the, the edge of the fountain, right? The, the, the nice semicircle of the fountain and then hid, hid the lion. Now this one's entirely different or were just like the lion head and just is using the lion head, the spitting lion head and totally hid the rest of the fountain. So you must have... So the rest of the fountain, I must be like standing on top of it, right? I, I guess I didn't realize how how much elevation there is there that you could sink it in that low. That's really cool. It's, it's really funny to see those back to back, isn't it? I, it's strange. Where Trudy said, didn't know you were doing a challenge for the sweet. Yeah, so <laughs> they actually said that they were inspired by the fountain. They wanted to do something with the sugar bowl sweet. And they were like, oh, you can come see it. So I was like, I entered them into the contest because that was a sugar bowl sweet. So I, uh, it's okay. Maybe you'll win something. We do have wit big winners here. And okay, other fun things here. I don't know if they expect it to be in the tours here. Oh, is that the new mirror? It might be the new mirror. I do have a few visual effects here. Oh, it's just for the guest journal. And ooh, beautiful fire logs there, giving that a good look. Wait, you turn those upside down, right? T turning the fire logs upside down so you just get the embers there. That looks beautiful. Practical, too. <laughs> and if it's a fire hazard, at least you have water right there. <laughs> Rodi says, that's amazing. Dolce says, neat. <laughs> oh, wow. So this is interesting. So we've seen other people using the visual effects, right? To add paintings to the the windows here to kind of give some depth to the build. Now what what Wur has done is just added these Reaper March paintings, the, the big paintings that you can actually get from like the Guild Traders, super cheap, super cheap by the way, and just adding those, even putting them upside down here for the sky. So using six of their item slots just for the window and then adding these reeds here too. That's really, that's really cool. And nice elsewhere bed fills this up. Nice Breton carpet there changes the texture of this a little bit, darkens it up a bit. Okay, that's really cool. And I love these new. I haven't seen very many of these new lights, the elsewhere crafted bowl lights, but this is a cool Scots I can use too. Okay, where to get a good screenshot of this? Oh. Yeah, the guest room is the only thing in here, so I'll go ahead and hide that for a little bit just for a screenshot. Maybe. Whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'll have to get it from the corner. Okay. Go away, weapons. I need to get a good screenshot of this place. There's like a lot going on with it. It's really well done. Really, really well done. Okay, and we'll move on to the next hum. Nice job, we're. Okay, Kilo, Kilo Hoku's next up. <laughs> Cardinal's back. Says, hi, pretty peoples. Hi, Cardinal. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. We're moving along. We are, at this point, three quarters of the way through. So, only a few left. Only a few left. Oh my gosh, I don't want to ever end. It's so much fun. Oh, like... You know what I need to do? Well, I I, I take all the screenshots. I, that's my way of taking notes. I can always go back and to refer all the refer to all these cool things. Oh, by the way, if if you ever want, if you ever want to check out, wait, wrong wrong button. If if you. <laughs> If you ever want to check out my website, spicyeconomics.com, we do upload tons of screenshots from contests like this. So if you just want to like soak in decoration and inspiration, I have like 2,000 pictures up from previous contests and tours that I've done. If you just want to like see all sorts of creative, you know, bedrooms and sinks and toilets and gardens and courtyards and statuaries and oh, like, all, like all sorts of Daedric shrines and rituals and beautiful everything we've had so many cool different contests and things on on the stream here and i put lots of screenshots up there so check out spicyeconomics.com for the gallery thank you, thank you, thank there's you. so much up there 
And Collector gifting a sub to Charlay Nightmist. Charlay, thank you. Lift your... Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Charlay and Collector. Thank you. Hi. Big hype. Okay. Kilo Hoku has totally transformed this place. This looks very outdoorsy, right? Kilo Hoku. <laughs> it says self-explanatory. Okay. Okay. I'll work under that assumption. Wait. Is that... That's not even, that is the everlasting waterfall. Wow! So so t taking the everlasting waterfall, which normally falls this way, and t turning it, turning it that way, <laughs> so that the water is falling, and then you have you have the little trout, you know the innes the innocent little trout fit swimming up here. It would be this way. So it's backwards on the stream, isn't it? <laughs> They're swimming up. They're swimming up the stream. Oh, it's so cute. They're, they're like happy little trout. They're not like the trout I'd normally see, which aren't usually so happy. <laughs> Wait, we, we need some we need some trout emotes in in the uh, in the. Or if, if if you have a sub, you have trout emote. We have Nord stool to sit on. We can go fishing out of this little little stream. That's really cool. Very outdoorsy. Transforming the space just to kind of emphasize that we're outdoor. There's all my trout. Thank you so much. Beautiful sight. I'm surrounded. Beautiful. <laughs> I love the goat on the centered rocks here. Oh, okay. I, I think I have a good fisher, fisher moo. Oh, I... I love... I want to get the goat in it. Can I get... Oh, if I get the angle just right, but I want to get the trout in it, too. Can't quite fit the trout in it. Got the trout. Got a trout. That, that was a really cool Kilo Hoku. Oh, oh, wait. No, no. Snow, snow fairy wings. Snow, did I spell your name wrong? I still have effects. I must not have done that. Snow fairy wings. Snow fairy wings. Panic. Panic mode. Snow fairy wings. If you're here, whisper, whisper. Snow fairy wings. Need perms. They're not online. Oh no. Okay, we'll come back to snow fairy wings. Sad. Sad. They have effects. They something went wrong. Cardinal says, check out the autocomplete in the top visit section. Wait, Colonel? Did I spell it wrong? Top visit? 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 Wait, what? No, oh, wrong. On the hub? Wait, Colonel has a... Here? From here? Snow fairy wings. Sugar bowl sweet. Is it? No, I don't have permission. It's spelled right. I'm pretty sure it's... I'm I, I wouldn't have the FX here if it wasn't, right? I wouldn't have the effects if it's... Yeah, I don't think it's right. I don't... Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. We'll come back to it if we get it sorted out. Oh no! Oh no! Colonel says true, but I totally just wanted to use that as an opportunity to highlight the new autocomplete. <laughs> I, I may have... Cardinal, Cardinal was incredible, like Cardinal is wont to do, and added this. I, I, I put in a request to Cardinal to add in the autocomplete feature with the essential housing hub. So, if you go and start to type in somebody's name up here to add to the list, it will autocomplete it using your 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 guild rosters, right? It's super helpful, by the way, Cardinal, because it makes it so I don't mess up the spellings on guild member names. So it helps so much. Like, if maybe I don't know if it's like an L or an I. It sorts through that for me. And I, and I, or just making typos. Because typos are terrible. <laughs> if you ask E, I will answer equals P. <laughs> Cardinals. Cardinal with the bits. <laughs> if I ask E, or, no, sorry. If you ASCII, I will ANSI. 
equals p oh it's coding humor i don't understand it no they're they're programming language right right something like that i don't know it's all confusing to me cardinal <laughs> wait research monkey says to bring a light because it's kind of dark i have a light i right, maybe should have done this with some of the other builds treasure hunter light there we go Gets rid away gets rid of my normal cheerful personality though. Scarl says, just know that that was one hundred percent not funny to anyone. So there's that. No, it was funny. It's ask and answer, but esky and antsy. It's it's adorable, Cardinal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for working in the Central Housing Hub. And like, like I put in a request to an Adam developer, and they did it exactly how I wanted it. Uh, I'm like impressed. They like read my mind. Oh my gosh, Cardi. Okay, so <laughs> we're in Research Monkeys home, dark home. This is an interesting, yeah, using tons of the new elsewhere furnishings. We even have, ooh, I like that cage. I This cage is from the achievement vendor, right? There's a little animal cage. Put a little toad in it. And plants here, deserty plants from the Elsewhere Home Goods Furniture. And we have a shower. We have a shower. Oh, with. Oh! Interesting. With, with the sand, sand, sand down below. So it can drain out. That's, an odd, that's a clever way of doing that. And it, okay, this is the second time I've seen somebody do this today, where they, they take the clustered Elsewhere fabrics and they stick them into the wall. So this is actually kind of like hugging hugging the, the corner here. So it's like three of them are hanging up off of the corner. Nice, nice fabrics, because there are five of them in the cluster. But again, you, if you don't need that many, you can hide them a little bit. Makes it look a bit more practical. <laughs> don't set the rug on fire. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I have to be careful with this flame. Don't want to stand here too long. <laughs> Cur curtains go up in flames. Or, or these vines. They're, they're they're flame retardant, right? You hope. Beautiful incense burner and sugar pipe. Love how people are using a lot of these ornate. <laughs> Set the bed on fire. Oops. <laughs> ornate elsewhere furnishings. Oh wait, why is my oh uh oh, combat bar, combat bar, go away, combat bar, go away. Uh oh. Oh no, my attribute bar won't go away. I need, I need it to not be showing because of the screenshots. <laughs> oh no, one sec. One. Ha, huh. fuck, let me reload you right. Sorry about that. First time it's happened. Toggle UI. I'm an arsonist. I'm not. I'm an accidental arsonist. I'm not meaning to set everything on fire. I just don't know how to handle my new personality. <laughs> love, love the vines. I'm not a pyro. I used to be such a pyro. The only thing that's changed is I no longer have opportunities. <laughs> no, I. I have set a couple of dinners on fire accidentally. Not been fun. <laughs> not often, not often. Did burn a pizza once. That was not fun. Wait. Uh, data. It'll be synced. Oh, okay. Wait, how did I miss the guest journal? Okay. The uh, UI issue is fixed. Good. Good, good, good. Have it sit here. Have good view of everything. See my beautiful moohorn to the bottom of the picture. It's all I really ever need to see. You know it's me that way. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Elsewhere room. Great use of the space. Okay, just a few homes left. A few homes left. We have Samantha Jane's up next. Wait, was that... Wait, I was going to say, this had 1,300 effects? No, that was Crusaders. Crusaders had 1,300 effects. <laughs> it's 
Swan Sun says, the person returns home to find it burned to the ground. I know, I did terrible things to the curtains and the bed and the vines and the everything. Just burn it all. Oh yeah, and burn a couple stove covers. Got these cute little rooster covers from Dollar Tree. Gone through a lot of those. More than I want to admit. <laughs> Never been any accidents or anything, though. It's been good. It's been good. No harm. No harm done. Poor roosters. Where Trudy says they really liked the shower. Yeah, I like that. It's nice and secluded, but very natural and inviting, right? Eslo says it's interesting to see what concepts are prioritized. I am seeing a lot of beds and bathrooms. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really... Like, you like make it nice and inviting by, by kind of bringing in some outdoor elements or just making it nice and comfortable in here. So that works. Samantha Jane, making it nice and comfortable in here with this bubbler. Oh, I like, wait, can I, I want a good sit here. There we go. Just sit and look at the bubbles forever. Oh, effervescent goodness. Lovely, lovely. Double wide bed. Nice and extra big. I see you use the statue, the square statue base here to give some support to this. That works. Elevates it a little bit. <laughs> Where's my fire at? Wait, wait, wait. Now I can't see my combat mart. Now I can't see if I can... Wait, I need to toggle a treasure hunter personality. Wait, I'm cheerful again. How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. It's more skooma. Really sticking with the Kajiti theme here. I like it. I like it. Sit and stare at the bubbler. Sit and stare. All the beautiful things. Beautiful bed. Beautiful plant there on the table. Love the red and gold coloring with the, with the Kajit stuff. Nice. Nice. Really great, really great. Thank you, Samantha Jane. Okay, we'll go to... We have two more PC NA houses left, and then we'll go to EU. Next up, we'll go to Mix 2014s. So I says, no, didn't make it primary. It just got sent to her prize home. No, but I didn't have permission. It doesn't... These houses, if you ever enter a contest like this, when I'm using the Essential Housing Hub list... It, it does not have to be set to your primary, so if you ever enter a contest, at least for, for my channel, for my streams or contests I do, it doesn't have to be set to the primary. So you can if you want to, or if you want other people to maybe come in, but you can keep your primary however you want. Okay, Mix 2014 up next. Oh, yeah, this new, beautiful new quilted bed. Love the dividers and the bookshelves. <laughs> Wait, is that... Is that like the edge of the gaming table? It's the edge of something. I, I, sunk some, I don't know what this is. Or it's like a... Bottom of something. I don't know. It's something creative. It's like a... It looks like a... Pancake or something, though. <laughs> Looks like a pancake. So, Hawk says, Jay Hart, question for you. If we unlock the emote slot this stream, will you do some torch bug and crown code giveaways? Yes, that is, a, that is a, the goal. We'll we'll do an ESO stream team. I got a bunch of codes for that. It's exciting for the first time. So, we'll, we'll do... We'll do... We have options. I, I have some crown packs. I have torch bug or I have phantom guar for some game codes. Maybe I'll just make a winner's, winner's choice on that. Yeah, we will do that. We will do the give, we'll do a big, big code giveaway if, if we get our emote slot unlocked and we're only 10 points away from that. The Bantam Guar, you want the Bantam Guar? <laughs> okay, so a lot going on with Mix's home here. So we have cool like breakfast nook here. We have the bed, 
It's an adventurer's bed. They have a backpack there. And they have some pri privacy divider for their bath and their toilet. Oh, I feel so bad for this, this, this poor monster whose head is used as a toilet. I mean, it's just one item. If you just want a, a toilet, you just use the, the head here. Oh. This is why we run dungeons. This is why housing people run dungeons. They need they need their they need their monster busts for their toilets. <laughs> okay, it says I want J Heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As a text tone, <laughs> I probably have the sound file for that somewhere. I could record it just for oh, there's a little cute Jerboa hiding under there. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, Cardinal. Carnal, getting us halfway there. Carnal with the five gifted subs. Oh, thank you so much. So Claude one, Chrisaya, Keth Kethos Pebble, Sleepy Marmot, thank you, thank you, and Alex say have just all been gifted subs. Means that you can use all the spicy move emotes and the lights commands and the hype command. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. You are amazing. Oh, hey, it's a new it's a new cage here from the. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the from the achievement feather again too, with a little skeleton in it. That's so adorable. Okay, I think get a good screenshot of this place. How do I? This, these dividers make it tricky. Oh, I, I can like get it straight on with the dividers. So I can actually you, see you, everything. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right, maybe get the color from the fabric hanging on the wall there. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Kind of get a little bit of everything. Okay, fun thank house you, from you, Mix. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Grandma Gamer. Did anybody, was anybody able to sort out Snow Fairy Wings home? Oh, I feel bad. They even had, like, effects and everything in it. If anybody knows how to contact Snow Fairy Wings. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so we are, otherwise this will be our last house on PCNA. And then we have five more on PCEU. As we continue to tour these amazing, amazing Sugar Bowl Suites. I've been blown away. Really. <laughs> Equals P. <laughs> Cardi, thank you. Grandma Gamer. Oh, we have Dragon Imps. We thank have, you, you, oh my you. gosh, Gothic Raven. <laughs> I believe, I believe that we'll, oh my, I'll be doing so many giveaways at the end of this too. Gothic Raven, gifting five subs, gifting five subs. So five subs just went out to Vandal G. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Rotham Knight, Stranded CS, The Laginator, and Tehuantle. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gothic Raven. Oh my gosh, check how close I am. It should, oh. Right now? Right now? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me, let me check. Really, really quick. Really quick. Really, really quick. One sec. I hope it might do weird things if I do this. Okay. I think, I think this will do it, though. Wait. Oh, something. I'm at 249. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm one sub point away. I don't know what happened. One sub point away. One sub point away. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Grandma. Okay, we have... Oh, Grandma Gamer. Thank oh, you, thank no, you. Grandma Gamer. What did you do here? Grab a gamer, moo, poor, poor, poor decapitated moo, bullhorns. It, it's been preserved forever, moo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Moo. <laughs> Gothic Raven gifting us up to Ioduck. That will do it. Thank you, Gothic Raven. You are amazing. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Not to take away. Grab a gamer. Thank you so much, Grandma. Or, thank you. Thank you so much, Grandma. Thank you so much, Gothic Raven. <laughs> Freudian slip there. No. Grandma Gamer's house right here. They look amazing. Derpy, derpy emote has been unlocked. So Grandma Gamer. Oh, I love, yeah, I'm, I love these new Elsewhere fabrics. We've seen these a lot. Like, there's so much color that you can put in your house. These are super cheap from the Guild Traders, too. Or you can go and uh, craft them yourself, right? Right? And new food bowls too. These are the the chicken meal platter things. What are they called? Chicken pieces, plate chicken pieces, bowl chicken pieces. It's a new craftable thing. So like, if you want a nice full place setting for your table, these these are new from elsewhere too. So Grandma Gamer adding a lot of new elements. Oh, adding the sweet mother door as well <laughs> with with the Kalanda stone. Kind of serving two purposes here, kind of like it's rising up here, and it's also providing light to the entire room, so that's cool. Moo. <laughs> it's 
Tormahawk says, pizza, and maybe a little pizza doubt. If, if you need it, if you need it, Storm, you can make that happen. And Kajiti with the yarn bell. It's, it's always going to be an Alfik going forward, right? Oh, can I sit on the other side? I kind of want to sit down and eat these chicken pieces. Getting a little, getting a little hungry. Oh, oh, okay. Let's, I'll just face a bit. We'll, we'll have a nice conversation. Maybe, maybe bat the ball back and forth with each other. <laughs> Get a good screenshot of this. Try to. Uh, uh, I can see my Moo Madness methodology for the screenshots. I try to fit in as much as I can. Sometimes, sometimes it's not possible. Okay, any last last word on Snow Fairy? Oh yeah, because Stormhawk had this terrible thing that happened where, where she got, her car got hit and I had to go, she, she was dealing with this and she had to take it in, insurance will cover, bumper repair, $250 deductible. So it, it, all of the support does help a lot. So thank you everybody for that. <laughs> and that was, it's just one of those really terrible things that happens to you, right? No, it's no fun. It's no fun. Wait, Snow Fairy is on? Wait, wait can I go to Snow Fairies? I'm gonna try to go again. I'm gonna try to go last, last time. Hopefully. No, Snow Fairy. Is Snow Fairy... Wait, wait. Is Snow Fairy on? Last chance. Last chance before I hop over to EU. Thank you, Sir Saren Vind. Thank you. Snow... No, they're not online. Oh, no. Okay, gotta swap over to EU. Okay, moving along. Moving along. <laughs> oh, yeah, that might have been what happened. Okay, logging out. Okay, going over to EU. We have five more houses, and thank you everybody for e from EU that that entered from this. Now, I suppose I I need to get the word out on EU a bit better for these contests because we had we had thirty six people on na that wanted to join in on this now me promoting it within my own spicy guilds probably helped a lot and like from dda and everything <laughs> but um yeah i need to figure out how to get more eu people in on these contests okay swapping over swapping over you can okay swapping over to eu five more houses and we're wrap up and we'll do tons of giveaways for Twitch chat. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm excited, I'm excited about the new emote too. Oh, Bayoshi, Bayoshi had to leave just before I get, went to their house. That was gonna be the first EU house I went to. Oh no, it's okay. Oh. Sir and Vin says, yes you do. Didn't know you did contest until it got linked into the housing guilds on the EU. <laughs> you have to check the ESO housing forums. That's where I put the contest details. So like this was up on this, this was up here for the contest. Yeah. Maybe I need to get in on... If you, maybe if you're in some EU housing uh, guilds on Discord, maybe you could invite me so I can maybe... Maybe put, put a couple of things in the Discord just to get the word out on some of these things going forward. Okay, so I am over here on EU. I'm not in a Sugar Bowl suite for once, but I will very quickly show you how you can get your own Sugar Bowl suite. So if you have elsewhere, and if you have just created a new character and have not done your Room to Spare quest yet, you can actually get this for free. So if you go if you go to the Crown Store and look for Room to Spare, or you'll see this hanging in like the, like the Reaper's March Bake has it. I know, I think it's kind of everywhere. You can get this brochure, and then you can read this, and like, look into this offer. I have an adventure. I have a, I have good reputation. You had a lead. And we'll go get our free in room here, sort of just to show you how you can get your own sugar pulse suite if you didn't know how to get it. Or we can just go buy it for three thousand gold. Stormhawk says, "See, delicious suggestion. It's late for EU, and it would be good to tour them first. Now, there are a couple issues with that for today, but I, I, I'll generally do that with like our housing hikes. I, I under, I understand. Thank you." Next, next contest, we'll do EU first. Okay, a room at the local inn? What's, what do I have to do? Just bad for business. The 
upkeep alone costs me more than the place is worth. I have a few coins I can spare. I come to a sort of arrangement, and not the sort of arrangement that involves a few drinks. Oh, wait, no, no, no. She'll she'll have to give it to me for free, just because it's otherwise bad to business. So I get the interim for free. What sort of arrangement? I need someone to improve the reputation of my... Oh, I can do that. I'm Okay, what are the details? I can see how this might be a bit sketchy. Okay, is there catch? Is there catch? No catch? I just need someone to freshen up my image. Oh, my wait, wait, wait. These, these are the caveats. These are the caveats. As long as you're not planning on turning it into a skooma den or an outlaw's refuge. No promises. Oh, no. No, I, I want to I want to do that. I want, oh, sure. We've seen a couple, couple of those. How's your pets? Display any treasures or trophies you've come upon in your adventures. Hey, you can even set up a target dummy to practice combat. There are a lot of things you could do with your house. The place and we're good. Okay, except now, I wasn't supposed to turn it into an outlaw refuge or, or a skooma den. We've seen, we've seen some of those as we've gone along with our Sugar Bowl Sweet Contest here. Okay, except. Excellent. You won't regret this decision, I swear. Okay, Here's we'll get it. And hope the room is to your liking. With your reputation, I'm sure Okay, we're all good. good. Just make oh no, wait, wait, wait. There's this one thing. Honestly, I can't wait to see how you arrange the place. Hopefully, you'll end up with a few less Daedric shrines than another former tenant of mine. Do you lie? Like zero. Zero is a good number. Okay, do do I worship Daedra or do I lie and say I don't worship Daedra? Maybe every once in a while, I've been known to worship Daedra. Oh, what a relief. Oh, yes. I can't tell you how okay, and that'll be it. And I can go in. And I own it. And it's free if you do the, that room despair quest. So that's how you can get this for free. If you have a new character. Free little thing. If you want to enjoy the quest. <laughs> it does tell, it's like an introduction to housing. So it tells you about the crafting stations and the target dummies and everything like that. But I haven't seen very many target dummies in these. Probably for the best. <laughs> okay, and this is the house and this is what we've been touring here. Okay, so few homes left, five homes left, five homes left on PCEU. We'll go to Bayushi's first. Oh, one sec, one sec. Eep. <laughs> okay. That's 4 a.m. in e EU. Okay, okay. I, I hear ya. Maybe I didn't think about that. Okay, going into... Oh my... What the... What did you do, Bayushi? Now, I was liking this before the visual effects popped. <laughs> okay, signing... Oh... Wait, Bayushi is here. Oh, you stuck, you stuck around. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, if, if, that's not, if that's not the homeowner, what is doing that effect? We have we have the moon temple pad. Oh my gosh. How uh, let's just do something. Let's, I I'm in awe. I'm in awe. Wait, is there a way to individually hide the quest journal? Uh, the guest journal show. Okay, let me. Okay, that that'll do it. Okay, that oh I see, and then I don't have to see it. There we go. Now, now I can get a little bit of a better screenshot. And thank you, thank you, Bayushi, for sticking around. I know it's super late. Oh my gosh. Look at a couple screenshots. <laughs> so this, <laughs> this is using the visual effects and the animations from Essential Housing Tools. And Bayushi really, like, that skin is perfect for this too, isn't it? Oh my gosh. What does this look like without the visual effects? I'm not cheat. What does it look like? Oh, I don't actually have it programmed. Oh no. I don't have the toggle hotkeyed. Well, we'll not see them without the visual effects. That works. <laughs> it's actually a scene plus a visual effects. Okay, yes, you can do scenes. And so that's why it's, it's going, okay. That's cool. That's so cool. Collector says, I swear I haven't got, been <laughs> kidding in the moon sugar. I can see that. Wow. And that's using the new temple pad in the back, right? And putting it up. 
cool new ach achievement furnishing. We really made this bright using all the Cidric orbs in here, so we just constantly have light here too. It's like Doctor Who. <laughs> it's beyond science. This can't be explained. I'm seeing visions. Bayushi will haunt me in my dreams here. Really well done, Bayushi. <laughs> well, like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It says that it says Shiva's Shiva's dance. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I am in the void. I have become one. I have become one with housing. I think that's what it is. <laughs> oh, stay a bit longer. Learn the secrets of the universe here. But we gotta move on. There are more more secrets and more sugar bowl sweets. <laughs> she blinded me with psychic orbs. That's exactly right. Chris says, that's seriously cool. Thank you for staying up, Beijing. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, yeah. But just for that, we'll, we'll do EU first next time. It's more like... <laughs> it's just easier for me to do them last. And so I'll, I'll go my way to do them first next time. Okay? I understand. I understand the pain. Oh, it's Dinalina. says, I stepped away for a moment and now I was wondering if I was actually asleep. <laughs> okay, Storm Fanger. Oh, using this new lion statue, or fountain, it's fountain. Well, it's also a statue, it has the four statues in it, right? And they say this is a place for relaxation. Grab some food from the tavern and head into the inn room. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I'm loving that we've seen lots of people using these new fountains. It's the best, the best new craftable furnishing from, from elsewhere. It has like this terrarium feel to it too, using the rocks and the lizard there, kind of getting the dryness, dryness of elsewhere a bit, a bit more deserty, right? And a bit of a reading nook, and you know, you know, get having some food from the tavern and relaxing. Yeah, this does feel definitely like a place to relax. You have you have a book to read, you have some food. Beautiful coloring here. Love kind of like the pink pink feel throughout here too. Really, really well done. This is the, there, there is a masonry floor, masonry floor that's a craftable furnishing. I think that's what this is. I haven't really seen it in anybody else's house yet, but it, it's this like nice big flat thing. It does have this, this gilding in it, kind of again with the floral elsewhere design. That's really cool. The ballroom floor, is it? I think it's called the masonry floor. Elsewhere masonry floor. Something like that. I haven't seen very many people crafting them or selling them. Uh, Kathos Pebble says, flipping the tapestry is subtle and great. Oh yeah, so, so it doesn't look like it's just, yeah, flipping it makes it not as obvious, right? It keeps a good color, color scheme going throughout this. And again, using these new Cactus blossoms from the Home Goods Furniture. Really bright pink color there. Rotham. Oh, wait, that's not right. <laughs> Plus, Bella Stalina made me think that somebody subbed or something. That's okay. <laughs> I'm I'm a delirious cow. It's okay. I love that beautiful pink color. Thank you for messing with my lights. Throwing me off. Beautiful from Stormfanger. Now we'll go to Freak Wow's. Sugar Bowl Sweet. Just a few homes left on the EU. What's that floor? I think it's called Elsewhere Floor Masonry. Something like that. It's blue quality. Look it up. Look it up on the Guild Traders or something. Anyway, it's a really cool one. I haven't seen... There are a lot of cool new Elsewhere structural pieces, like uh, the stairways and the floors and big spires and columns and monuments and things like that. Okay, okay, Freyak Wow. Freyak Wow has a wow in Kajidi house. Little in room with the smuggler. Smuggler can't help but smuggle that book in her own in room. Well, maybe maybe she is breaking in. She's just trying to steal from the cupboard there <laughs> down below. Oh no. Get out, smuggler. I, haven't get, I, I guess I always go from the other corner. I don't get this beautiful door 
in the pictures oftentimes but you know i do i do like the look of the door beautiful arch archway on that ponder sphere great place to wait i just have a bowl of bowl bowl for the cat lovely lots of food nice new food new runner Lots of colorful new furnishings from elsewhere, like these tapestries and these runners. Really nice, really nice, really fitting with the Kajiti theme, right? Delicious says, nicely appointed. Thank you, thank you. Where Trudy says, I don't remember what it's called, but it has a nice floor, as one side is flower tiles and the other is the bricks. Oh, maybe that's it. Lovely, livable Kajiti. GT home. This seems like really pra like like as far as houses that we've seen, a lot of people have gone like Numino Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Goniosis. <laughs> Archaic media with the uh, Numono Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Goniosis. Ah, oh, love it, love it. Archaic media. Thank you, and thank you for all the mega cheers, mega cheers for all of the emotes. Love it. Big hype, big hype. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful interim. I, I can imagine living here as a Khajiit. Okay, Silver Vind up next. Is that a real word? Supposedly, supposedly. I think it's Coniosis, not Coniosis. It's okay. I always I had to look up what that was. So it was before, which was. Some sort of like like a miner's lung sort of disease. It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, not why I'll be thinking. Silver Vend, oh my gosh. You're you're alive on EU at like four AM. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my this is so pretty. This is why we need more EU people and in, getting into these contests. Oh, this is wait, they say small this is a small relaxing inside garden. Oh, it is. There's no spot for me to sit. You took my only sitting spot. I guess I won't relax. I'll just stand. I mean, I've been standing here forever. Ooh, what did they... Oh, interesting use of the... Those monster busts? What are they? They're almost golden. Or maybe it's just wood of some sort. To make this pedestal. That's cool. With the fountain. Oh, with a little flower in the fountain. It makes it look, look even more relaxing. You know, incorporating a lot of these new home goods furnishings from from the elsewhere love it and oh the cute little jerboa oh it's adorable there front and center wolf spirit with a follow thank you so much yeah these, these little yellow bushes are from a home goods furniture too and these these desert plants so oh that looks nice oh, oh oh they got up so i could sit down i can't sit down oh no little, little kitten little better than i thought it was <laughs> Let me sit. Oh, I've been standing this whole time. Just let me sit. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. No, oh, okay. Good picture, regardless. Anti disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> Archaic media with the anti disestablishmentarianism. Fantastic. <laughs> Silverband, you're in my picture. It's okay. I, it's okay if I see your kitty butt in the picture. Actually, just stay there. Just stay there. I. <laughs> I love it. Inside garden. Oh, as as far as like making beautiful use of this space, right? Oh, and these are the bricks. Are these? Is this the masonry wall? The masonry with the bricks is beautiful, and it really transforms this space, right? It has more of like a kind of has a old feel to it, but there's like a little bit of humidity going on there, so we have like the the green stuff going on. Okay, media. Thank you again so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, Stormahawk, you got the wings? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love the wings. I love the wings. I... What do I have? Oh, I only have two things still. That's okay. <laughs> love it, Silver Vind. I just want to... Yeah, as far as relaxing, I just want I just want to put up my feet and stay here forever. It's a beautiful atmosphere, and you have, you have the greenery up above, too. Really transforming the space. Oh, it's gonna be 
It's going to be so hard picking winners for this, but we'll do that. We'll announce winners tomorrow, tomorrow night. So, Tiger's Eye, this will be our last, last Sugar Bowl Sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 40, 40, 40, house, 40 houses, 40 houses, 40 houses, 40 in rooms. You know, unique take on each one. I want to thank everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. I'll <laughs> just hang out in chats with Biddy Bombs and Matthew. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what that's what you have to do to get the to get the emotes. So that's actually a really cool thing with this going on. Like if if you want to like go onto other people's streams and whatnot while they're streaming and while people are doing bits and stuff, you'll you'll get more chances of getting the emotes. Okay, Tiger's Eye, Tiger's Eye. Oh wow, I, man. You know, as far as making good use of your limited slots and everything, this Red Guard Chandelier really. You know, this ornate gilded look fits the, the Khajiit style too, even though it's Red Guard, right? So, you know, really bright light fills up the space. Like the, the Khajiit incense burner has these little things. It's, it's like very similar style. So it fits perfectly. Oh, Tiger's Eye. Beautiful wardrobe. I love, I love how it's kind of just surrounded by these beautiful vines oh and somebody i think this is the first time i've seen these engraved sconces in here these are there are some really beautiful new craftable light sources like these little little candles like they're so detailed right stormhawk says jay heart ate through <laughs> oh no stormhawk's been pokey hunting and doing it badly it's okay so i i forgive i forgive i actually appreciate it Oh, beautiful tapestry there. Oh, good little, little, little kit in there. Oh, it's adorable. I love the colors. The Garlis Alpinia, I believe that is. With a Nixit. Nice and inviting. Oh no, what, oh, what side do I, oh. There's stuff in every corner. I can only get a picture of like three, three quarters of it. Ack, it's okay, it's okay. I, I like. I like seeing the stove there. I think that will have to... I kind of want to mix it. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's get a screenshot from right here. Beautiful. Thank you, Tiger's Eye. Oh, yeah. There's a, a penny in the corner, too. I don't miss out too much there. Except for the Nixid. Poor Nixid. Okay. Well, we'll wrap up here. And then we'll do we'll do some big giveaways for Twitch chat. And talk a little bit about other things that were going going on with the stream. So, I'll thank everybody. So, thank you, everybody. For... <laughs> This will, this will be for the vodka. Just, this is why I always do this. Uh, thank you, everybody. This has been an amazing Sugar Bowl Sweet Challenge. 40 houses that we toured. They've been so incredible. Like, so many different takes on this. We've seen so many great uses of the new elsewhere furnishings. Great uses of the visual effects. Thank you again to Cardinal05 for making essential housing tools so amazing. Thank you, everybody, on PCNA and PCEU for for entering the contest. Thank you everybody on Twitch for all of your support. And we'll all get, I've been taking screenshots as I've been going through here. I will put most of them up on the spicyeconomics.com website. So if you missed any of this, you can go and, and look at those there. Just soak in the decoration inspiration. And yeah, this will be uploaded to my website and to YouTube. And so you can subscribe, subscribe to me on YouTube. We do lots of these contests. That would be fantastic. And if you ever miss anything, you can catch up there. Or just scroll through it if I ever get long-winded. <laughs> and that can work. So we'll... Oh, man. I'll, I'll be declaring the winners tomorrow on the stream. So, yeah. Have fun with your new in-room. You don't need to have a lot of space to do something amazing. Get your creative juices flowing. You can you can make amazing creations like this. So have fun with housing. Have fun with yes. Rollis halalu zanil theron and Anil talano. And stay spicy.